Cheers, dog. Hi, friends. Hi. <laughs> That's so annoying, right? <laughs> so insincere. Happy Friday. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Is your volume down? I think it is. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. I Hopefully we don't have any echoes this week. We definitely heard it on the playback last week. No idea why. Yeah. Why there was a, an echo. I don't know. Let's really see. It's Friday. Oh, right. Here we go. Did you ask me? Was your volume down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you guys hear music at all now? That's really weird. This is not funny, Crystal. I'm so <laughs> over Friday Night Lives. I can't. It's not even funny. There's still music. No. There's no more music? They're good? Are we good? Can they hear us? They not even... now. No. Okay. Lord, I don't know. That's why I said, girl, was your volume down. What does that have to do with... Oh, because when I turned it down, turned that down? No, I don't know what's wrong with all these devices, but last week there was an echo. I mm -hmm. heard it through the playback, and I don't know what's going on. Okay. But. Okay. I don't just breathe air to breathe air. All right. All right. Is that considered breathing air? I don't know. Okay, by the grace of God, we're here. Because I'm telling you, it was just... I felt like... What did we feel like? Like, like real serious New York commuters. Like, two days this week, like... Yeah, Close to people that do that. One day we knew we were going. We didn't know anything about the second day, and it, we literally found out the day before at like six p.m. And so we Ugh. had to like get it together for last today. night. We last night at six p.m. that we mm -hmm. had to be in New York today. And I was like, I can't I imagine move that quickly. I can't imagine people who do that for a living, like work in New York but live in a different state. Like all that commuting and stuff is too much. It's too much. It's too, too much. much. But we did it. We did. And then it's a sense of accomplishment because I'm like, oh my gosh, we really did this. Like yeah. we're really here on the train. We really made it on the train. We did. It yeah. was a lot. We didn't say mm -hmm. hi to anybody yet. Though. Okay. All, all right. right. Let's say. Kid sister, you're here. Kid sister, I thought you left us, even though you comment on videos, but I have been saying, like, where's kid sister at? Is kid sister okay? Like, where's kid sister? I'm okay. so happy you're here. Hi, okay. kid sister. Hi, kid sister. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so let me we, scroll back up. I saw. Right, so we have Angela Marcinkovic first, Crystal Garcia. Okay, she's getting in the running mm -hmm. now. She know how to show up on time. Okay, we have Girl. Tiara. <laughs> Tiara Sneed. Is that a new name? Say hello, everyone. She's friendly. Tiara like friendly. That sounds like a new name. Are you new, Tiara? You scroll down to the bottom to see it as I call okay. out. Okay. Um, I'll stay at the bottom of the chat. You'll stay at the top. Okay. Then we have Sarah Fenton mm -hmm. and Yolanda Patrice. And let me see. There's Akia Lamb. There's one that just popped in at the bottom who I've been seeing. Oh, Lady Jess is here too. Hi, oh. Lady Jess. Um, oldies look goodies night. Right? You said oldies look goodies. <laughs> <laughs> um... Is it okay? We're gonna need this to be spelled phonetically, but I have been seeing her in the comments. It's is it G S Jess Jesse Ann? G S C Ann? Where's that at? At the bottom. Okay, I'll go to the Rosario. Really quick, but I've to go back. We um, need your name phonetically. Where's that spelled at? out so we don't butcher it? Um, okay, I see Manisha Parker. Oh, it's Melly. Oh, it's Melissa. I see my sister Tiffany Treadway. Hey. You guys might have to come back through. If you came in early, guys, come back through. We're starting at the bottom. We just told Spencer you wished him happy birthday this morning, even though it wasn't his birthday yet. <laughs> she gets so overzealous, so she called the week early. That's okay. <laughs> at this age, we can't remember nothing. Okay. We have Shy Williams, Sarah Zeppelin, let's see, Vanessa Bristow, mm -hmm. Dana N, 106 Andy, Christina Mendez, Katrina Allen. Shy Williams, Rachel Anthony, Spark Tay, is that a new one? Oh, yep, yeah. see, first live chat, but love your videos. Thank you and oh, welcome. Oh, it's, it's JCN? It's like saying JCN, JCN all together. JCN? Where are you at? JCN. Well, she's teaching us how to spell her, say her name. Where is Wait, where are you? Oh. I just, I, I oh, you made okay. me come all the way down to the bottom. But we have somebody, somebody new here, back. and I'm trying to figure out how to say her name. Okay, where is she at? Okay, maybe you're better with it than I. Wait, where'd it go? JC, JC, I think it's like saying JCN all together. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, people are talking. Right here. Let's see. They're saying JC, JCN, Rosario. Yeah. 
It's like saying JC. Yes. Oh, we got it. Okay. Oh, JC. Okay, that's cute. Okay, very cute. Very pretty full. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have Lisa Powell all surrounding her. We have Lisa Powell, Shania Parker, Mary's NW Hair, Grace Scholar. Oh, we haven't seen you in a while. I've been seeing you on Instagram whenever I decide to stroll by the streets of Instagram. We're buffering. We are. Are we buffering? Are we? Okay. Um, kind of looks like we're, we're skipping a little bit. Are we? Ashley Harris, Heavenly Me, Just G. Just G is the one on all our videos who tells everybody to thumbs up. We appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the welcoming crew and the welcoming right. committee. <laughs> yes, and, and what we established, that it's okay to say it every now and then, right? Yeah. To like our videos, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. The audio is skipping. Is it? And oh, I, yeah, I see it is skipping. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me see if maybe I put the Wi Fi on. Let's start with all the tricks. Um, okay, that didn't work. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. All right, let's try putting the Wi Fi on, see if that works. How's that? Let us know. Any better? I see Xavier Thompson, Chelsea Nails, Jan Robert Esquer Esquidero. Mm -hmm. I okay. got my tea and my sultana. I'm a little cup. one. That's why he's a little one. We're <laughs> he's saying a happy, baby. We're saying happy birthday, Ayo. Oh. Happy birthday, Ayo. Happy birthday, Ayo. Sultanicals, girl. if you guys didn't know, Sultanicals is having a 40% off sale today. I believe the we cold. can't say we didn't know because you guys, everybody was sending um, emails to us. Yes. I, so, but I, I was already on it, guys. Already on already it. Already on it. But yeah, I think it's um, code is birthday soul, and you can get forty percent off her product. Forty percent, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. That's what I'm. Better talking than about some Black sale. Friday sales this year, right? Seriously. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Where do we leave off? All right. I don't know. All right. So Dana and we had okay. Felisa Lisa Aldridge, Williams, Rachel Lauren Anthony, Lane. Spark Tay. That's a new one. Leslie Brown. Tierra Sneed, yes ma'am, she's new, LOL, okay, Taz. There was another one I saw at the top who said she was coming out the shadows. It was All Tina right. or something. Yeah, we need more folks to come out the shadows because um, we keep seeing the same old dried up folks. Love you all Jay Nicole, <laughs> Jay Nicole was in the room heavy last year. I'm happy to see her back again this uh, week. Where's Hi, that? Jay Nicole. Oh, you said yeah. last year or last next, week? Last week, last Oh week. yes, okay. <laughs> Wait, was Tina, I just saw, was Tina clear something? Ah, oh, what, okay. It was here. Now it's playing. Okay. okay. I definitely saw her, though. All right. Oh, they want to know what you got. I got... From Sultana. Oh, okay. I got the kink drink. Is kink? No, kink sink. This kink. is the concealer bag. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Um, the kink... Was it the kink sink? Sink? Something kink sink. They said it smelled like caramel, and it's supposed to be because... Okay, look at this. All right. All right. We are trying to get past this extra frizz this winter hair we've tried everything this morning i woke up my hair was beautiful because we did a hot oil treatment mm -hmm. with the allocate naturals um okay we, right here my blended sure. therapy hi jasmine walker she said she's coming out the shadows okay welcome coming out the shadows who else is joining her all right so this right here we both did hot oil treatments yes on this, this is amazing it really is and when you rinse it out it's um no or no like oily residue left like in the tub or anything your hair's not oily it's just bouncy curls like yeah. just healthy bouncy curls but now look at this like this is the weather this is winter weather it's like almost no matter what you do whether you use creams whether you use hot oil treatments deep conditioners i don't know what to do i mean it is just truly winter hair when we went to new york my hair looked great mm -hmm. and this is what I came back with. And it was after the hot oil treatment. So I think it's just the weather. I think it's, that's why people do protective styles, which we just don't do. But maybe that's why, just to hide their hair. Because once your hair is out and flying in the weather, that cold weather, that wind blowing, yeah. all that. Did you put the, the shea, did, did you put the shea yogurt? No, our hair was so dry. Yes. And we had been, we basically deep conditioned twice last week. Mm -hmm. And... I don't know, my hair was just so dry. Not even Aussie wasn't doing it. And then people were saying like the silicones in Aussie is like throwing um is throwing everything off because like that layer silicones leave so moisture can't get in. I've never had a problem with Aussie before, but this year I'm having a problem because like the weather's in like the negatives and it's just not happening mm -hmm. with my hair. So we did the hot oil treatment yeah. and um then we went to out and then we did the well, lemongrass leave and we're yeah. beginning to think that maybe that's just too light of a product it's, for this weather. This yeah. is just 
extreme. We need like biting, cream. biting cold. Yeah. So and then of course the creme brulee. Um, and we don't even we didn't even do the dulce because you felt like it was too light. I'm thinking should we do the lemongrass leave-in with either the parfait or the shea yogurt? Do you think that's too heavy? I thought my hair would be so <gasps> weighed down. It's breaking up again. I see it too. We're skipping. Okay. Let's try this. Let's give this a go. All right. How's that? We'll see. Oh, hold on. I'm saying it's pretty bad. Okay, hold on. Two. Better. Just cleared up. We're back. Okay. All right. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Who said that? Um, All right. Let us let us know if it happens again. Oh, July Alba said my skin is glowing. Try something else. Thank you. Yeah, 106 Andy, we said we were going to get down with those butters, um, so it wouldn't be alive without internet connection. Yeah, there's there's yeah, always know. an issue. Do you think it'll be too heavy if I do the lemongrass leave-in? And then the shea yogurt. Because we're going to try to do the lock method. Mm -hmm. So it's lemongrass. I want to do the oil next, but you said your hair doesn't do, you don't want, you want to do the LCO. Yeah. And I want to do the LOC. I just know for a fact that the LOC is not going to go down in my hair. My hair doesn't do oils like that. So to put a leave-in down and then slap oil on top and then put a cream is not going to work out. My hair is going to look like a frizzy, oily mess. So I said I'd rather do LCO. The, a leave-in, a cream, and then an oil. I know that will work for my hair. Where's Xavier? Xavier, what do you suggest? L-O-C or L-C-O? Alexis John said, I use the lemongrass with the shea yogurt. I used the parfait tonight to just add a little something-something to my hair. Oh, did you? Yeah, but I, and um, I liked it. It was nice. Well, I slathered on the yogurt, as usual. Just, I mean, I slathered. You, you wouldn't know, though. Something's not doing right. I don't know why it's not taking just the elements, I think. Yeah. LCO. Happy Friday, said. J Bubbles. Wait, so what did you get get from Sultanical? LCO works. You got the kink sink. Okay, so I got the kink sink. I got the um, follicular to tonic. Tonic? Yep, and let me see what else. Oh, and another Afrotastic. Just a regular size one. That was it. That was it. it. We had to partake. Yes. For Ayo's birthday. Yes. Because of the birthday, because of the birthday. Because the birthday, because the birthday. <laughs> Professor yeah. Xavier says LCO. LCO. I know when, um, LCO. like there's certain like, like people I was, I was looking for, because on macros I asked about the hot oil treatment. And then I said, what do you do afterward? Because we don't, we didn't know whether you shampooed it out, whether you, um, LCO. whether you co-washed it out, whether you did use water. So like, we were like, of course, everybody said something different, but I was like, you know, what is like certain people say, like how to like, I don't know. And so some people were like, just use water. Some people said, just use shampoo. Someone said, mm -hmm. use a clarifying shampoo. We, I said, that would be my very last option. And this is, I said, the point where it's trial and error because I know sometimes people watch natural channels and they're like, you know, this person says this and that person says that. So which one is right? Like everybody does stuff differently. So this is when it's but, trial and error. But I did mix like, out with the black shampoo because to me it's moisturizing. And then I followed it up with the coconut um conditioner that they have okay and i did the co-wash i co-washed mine out this morning and okay. it was fine so um so L everybody's saying lco because so then why does everybody say loc why does everyone say the lock method the lock method and now i'm starting to hear more about the lco to me the lco makes more sense because you have to seal with the oil i think once you put oil on your hair it's almost like it locks that That's style it. in right? yeah yeah, and like it seals it in, and then you can't, nothing can penetrate that oil. Mm -hmm. So um, I think LCO makes more sense to me. Yeah, that's what I said I wanted to do. And we were like, maybe we could try one and then do the other and see which one. I mean, I already know which one's gonna come out better. I already know my hair's gonna look busted with LCO. LOC. Yeah, but we're gonna have to take it up a notch because um, this is not working. I mean, yes, Alexis said we need to keep our hair covered outside. Yeah, no, when we were walking the streets in New York today, the wind was just brutal, like, on our face, mm -hmm. and so it was brutal on our head, and I'm like, we need to get some, like, satin-lined little caps or something to wear outside because, um, oh my gosh, in your New hair York? was so moisturized this morning. It really was. Was that wind? Mine held on pretty oh, good. There was a pose enough down there taking, um, the walking oh, picture. yeah, oh my gosh. Who saw the walking picture of me? on um facebook and i tried to talk you into it that day but you didn't want to and then when um i 
put it back and put it on Facebook. You saw I know. That. Your it's walking picture blew up. But you saw, <laughs> I took that picture, right? I took, like, when I take pictures of my mom, they're, like, pristine. I get, like, the nice, like, portrait mode on the phone and the back thing. Like, I tried to do everything I can to make her pictures look nice. Mm -hmm. And then... When she took my picture today, like, it was just my hair was in my face. It was, and it was just, it's just busted. <laughs> You're like, hold on, let me put my glasses on. I'm like, here we go. I'm about oh. to not get a good picture. Camden called. What's it? Hi, everyone. Hi. Is that your name? Camden called. Camden, are you well, new? I tried both. Alexis jobs and said, I tried both and found what worked for me. Okay. I do both depending on the day. <laughs> Yes, we have the graceless um, Sydney Budwater. We are fabulous. How are you? How are you, lady? <laughs> oh, see. Oh, Camille Rose Almond. See, I thought about that. The Camille Rose Almond Dry, Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Melt. Both oh, of that's those that's things? a good one, Michelle. She said, "Can you do a video of curly hair rules you don't follow?" <laughs> I know we I know. we basically don't follow any of them, but we're but. We really don't follow any of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what technically are curly hair rules? Like, we don't... I know one is, like, don't use heat on your hair. We don't do that. We don't use heat on our hair. So, that, I guess that is one we of follow. Sorts. But that's... Except when we sit in front of the, the heater. Yeah, we're also thinking that's probably a bad idea. Yes. I'm finding some um some dryness. Yeah, definitely. Should be this dry. The slap, really cut. the slap cap is too tight. It's a slap cap that Grace Elise one. We have one in the house. I don't like how tight it is on it my hair. It doesn't fit on my head. It really doesn't. I it it just looked like a like a beanie. It looked like the Jetsons. Um, I think there was a video, and I just looked weird. I'm like, what is? Why does my head look like that? And then I realized it was like a black cap. It just yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that refresher video. Yeah, we tried to do a, like, right. a refresher video before our most recent refresher video, and you put the cap on your head, and you had like curls poking out in the front, like you were trying to have some sort of style, <laughs> and it was just not okay. I was. <laughs> We appreciate all the comments on our aesthetic for the Cara Care video because we, we said we had to get it right this week after last week's fashion mm -hmm. challenge debacle. Thank you, Nellie. Are you talking about my sickening picture walking in the streets of New York? Not bothered? That was a pretty picture. <laughs> <laughs> so then I took one of you today because I told you the other day to take one and you didn't want to. But today I bet you we was ready. <laughs> but today we were ready. I was like, Ma, I want my walking picture in New York. <laughs> I want my picture. <laughs> okay, so who's ready for the story? All right. Okay, that's why they're all here for the story. The story. Okay, so who's ready? Hands up. <laughs> yeah, so we, so we told them last week that we were going to a casting call. Mm -hmm. Did we? I don't think we... I think we just... Put it out there. I don't think oh, we knew maybe, last week. Maybe we didn't say, or maybe we didn't call it a casting call. We said we were, did we call it? I don't, I don't know. Think we, did, we didn't mention it last week, did we? I think I started putting it on, I put it on Facebook. Yeah, maybe you called it a casting call on Facebook. Okay. But either way. Did we, we know about it last Friday? Yeah, we did. We did? Okay. We, yeah, we told them about it. We told okay. them to pray for us because we had like an opportunity coming up and we really, right. okay. you know, didn't basically want to be busted. Okay. So, but it was a casting call mm -hmm. and we went and it was yeah. Monday? Monday? It was Tuesday? Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. It was today, Friday. Yeah. I think it was like maybe Tuesday. 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 It was Tuesday. Okay. Yes. So we had to be there at twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. So we had to be there at twelve thirty. So we live in Connecticut, and where where we take the train out, we basically drive fifteen minutes to a train station that you like. You like taking the train from a certain place because mm -hmm. the place that's like kind of closest to our house. You said you could, we could potentially come out, like park our car, and come mm -hmm. back, and our hubcaps would be gone. Yeah. So you like parking and in a certain tra in a yes. certain train station parking lot in a certain town. So we drive to that train station. Yeah. Which saves us money because the further back you are, the farther away you are from New York, the more the tickets are going to cost. It's like peace of mind, though. You, I can't really even categorize like that because if they can come and take a car out of my driveway, then you know all bets are off now. Yeah. I don't make the rules anymore, obviously. But either way, we so, so we drive fifty minutes. Mm -hmm. to the train station and then we take the train which could be anywhere from like an hour and like 10 minutes to like an hour and 20 give or take depending on how many times the train stops so we had to be in new york by 12 30 we live in connecticut so okay. we woke up at four o'clock in the morning yep. on tuesday because we knew we both had to do our hair it takes us forever to do and our thing. both of our hair had to be dried before right. we left this house mm -hmm. so four o'clock in the morning we got up and our train was at um 10 I think we, think we took like a 10 o'clock train. Mm -hmm. So basically we have between 4 
in like nine to get dressed and right. then we left the house at nine to be at the train station by 10 to take the train and get there by like 11 yes ish mm -hmm. and then oh so so then we're there then we're there okay and so that's this is this is where my struggle comes in because mm -hmm. you guys know i have ms and so then so so i always have to like mentally psych myself so i get off the train and everybody's just like hustling and bustling hustling and bustling but i was able to keep up this time because you told me to wear sneakers i had to wear busted sneakers yes so someone said what, what did we wear yes you said you wanted um a dress in jeans and vans yes yeah. so no prom gowns were worn no vans thank were goodness. worn yeah thank goodness what did i wear i wore like some tall black boots um, some black leggings and like um, a pink sweater that was just like really long. That People was like long. truly were not bothered. They really, they really were not weren't bothered. bothered. I mean, I thought my sneakers were beat up. No, I mean, people just had t shirts, jeans. Um, nobody was like, I was gonna wear a blouse. I was gonna do a wraparound blouse and black pants. And, and you were like, don't wear that, don't wear that. And I just didn't know why you were saying that. And not that you knew, but I'm so glad that I didn't. Um, I wore black pants, like kind of like those like leggings. They're not like legging leggings, but. They were nice. They had like a little like leather thing on them. Yeah, they were nice. Yeah, I have a few like different ones with different leather stripes and patches, whatever. Yeah. So I wore that. I wore a white Cute. shirt, basically similar to this, and then a sweater. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we looked like casual. Yes. It was like nice. We yeah. looked we looked put together. We looked nice. And then we had like you had a long black coat on. I had my black coat on. We had scarves, our little purse thing. We walked in, not bothered. Mm -hmm. Like You're so right. we were together. And the room we, was packed. Yeah. So. I, I don't know what a casting call is. I had no idea what to expect. When we walked in the room, it's just a sea of natural girls, all colors, all hair types, all everything. And so, mm -hmm. like, we're all here for the same reason. So, basically, they, like, heard Size you, you up. Yeah. We're sizing them up. We're walking in, and they're looking at us. We're looking at them. And everyone's just kind of, I guess, taking in the competition. Like, <laughs> what, what's here? Um, was yeah. the coat lint free? Okay, Ashley Harris. <laughs> it was lint free. It wasn't today that though. That day. <laughs> yeah, today you were like linting me down, like with the lint brush, like while we were standing there. Like you were like, you oh my god, to go to the room. Yeah, you were like, yeah. come here, and like you had the lint brush today. Oh, I'm not gonna have this. But the first day, it was lint free. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so we so, go in. So we go in. Get sized up, sizing everybody else up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so then we go into the room where the casting couch is. <laughs> you hate saying that. Yeah. So the first thing is you walk in, you're like, is that a casting? I'm like, please stop saying that. I'm like, just stop. I'm like, that's not a casting. I, like, my that. eyes just zeroed in on it because it was just such, like, just like this green, filthy, dirty little suede. It looked like something from the 70s. The color was 70s. It was just like flat, like no fluff. It just, it just looked like just such a weird casting couch to me. So he said, stop calling it that. I'm like, it, well, it just looks like one. But anyway, there we sat, um, we had to fill out the paperwork, you filled out the paperwork, like who we were, yeah. um, and what were we about, really kind of, like something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, and then we saw Yeah, they wanted, people. like our names, our ages, our social medias, and I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah, so we were sitting there for like a while, right, and like, there was like a list, it seemed like we were like number 20 on the list, and they would call people like groups of people in like one by one yeah like so the, like the person who you came with or the group of people you came with like that's who you went in, in with. with so I thought we were gonna be there for a while so I was sitting there I was antsy like I can't just sit I get nervous while I was like okay you know I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quick like I had to walk it out because I just get very nervous and then when I came back they were like basically they're ready for you they're waiting for you like so I, I already first step of bustedness they're like, like where's the other half and I'm like she went to the bathroom so like okay we'll take you <laughs> like like we never did anything like this before we needed each other to lean on and she's gone and she was gone for a long time like I'm just standing in the room waiting for her to come back and I'm like where is she where is she and then they're like well do you have the piece of paper that you filled out no she had the paper so when she came back to the room you didn't have the paper so you had to go back to the casting couch area to get the paper and finally we got ourselves together we did so and all they really wanted was for us to take pictures yeah. so we, like, we, we love picture taking yeah so we walked in it's like this huge room it's like a it was like a photo shoot kind of room and there were like two people in like in the back like with like a, a what is it like a sheet and like what is that what are those things um bullet um Car, like a clipboard. Clipboard. She had like a clipboard, and then there was someone else behind the camera, and then there was a photographer, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Okay, like you know, you first. And so, did you go first? Or did I go first? You um, went first, I, I think. Think you might have gone first. Okay. Sorry. Either way, they're like, "Okay, we're gonna take a picture of you this way. Okay, turn to the side. They took a picture of you this way. Okay, turn to the other side. Take a picture of you this way. Okay, hold your hands up. Hold your hands like this. Turn over. Flip over. <laughs> flip your hair up. Smile. Laugh. Like they just want like all this stuff on camera. <laughs> and then like, okay, like you know, now it's your turn. And then you win. And then you did. And okay. I hated the first picture because it's just a big pie face. Just like I know the first I one is like because you guys know on. I know my angles. Yeah. Right? You know I always like have my angles. All right. So they don't want just pie face, just big flat pie face. I'm like, okay, that does it. I know we won't get a call back after <laughs> I, that. No, big because. Pie face. You, because like they wanted certain pictures, and so you stepped up there, and basically you stay ready. So you were like, and they were like, no, like basically 
relax, like put your face, like, you know, no pose. I was like, gonna pose. You were like, right. sorry, I'm, I'm ready to pose. Like, <laughs> supposed to show your gums, like basically like all of that. Right, yeah. And so you kept wanting and to like, edges. yeah, yeah, you kept wanting to like turn your head to the side and like, so they're like, like, no, like, no, they're like straight, straight on. on and then turn like your whole body towards the window yeah. to the left and then turn your body to the right. They want it like all profiles. And yeah. then they said, okay, you two get together. Okay, now hug. Now take a picture. Now to the side, to the left, on your head, on your, like, so like all this yeah. kind of stuff together now. And then they wanted us to, to hear have a speak. conversation. Yeah, to, ha to have a conversation, which comes naturally to us. Just talk about anything, and mm -hmm. you know we're always talking, so we just go into conversation. Mm -hmm. And then they want to know about like who we were, like not so much who we were, but like what what what, what are how do they know about the channel? Like what are, did we tell them about the channel? Or did they already know about the channel? I don't remember. Um, um, I believe they already knew about the channel, but they did they did ask about the channel. How did the channel start? Right. And then they wanted to know how like we went natural right together and you know growing up how what um how you how like issues and things that you had with your hair yeah how was that growing up as a child with textured hair yeah kind of thing it was it rough on me doing your hair like what was like that history of yeah of, so um, people keep asking like what it was for so we're not going to say the company yet um unless we get it <laughs> but um so they were looking to do like uh, magazine spreads for their company and uh commercials and stuff for their products so it's a natural hair company and like they're looking they were looking for like um the theme is like generational hair and like like the natural hair and like generations so like they were looking for mother daughter sisters cousins grandmothers like that kind of thing to show like hair generate hair like through, through the, the generations, generations. And yeah they, because they said that um women african-american women maybe in particular bond over their hair mm -hmm. so like what are your hair stories what is what is the history of your hair yeah and that was um, what we read about. Then, then today we got, they kind of like went into more detail because mm -hmm. there really is a history with our hair because both of our hair basically fell out at the same time ten years ago. We're definitely going natural. We have this channel, so we really had a rich history. And then we had like the fun little things like we have the same birthday, you know, um, we're mother and daughter, definitely super close. And then the acronym yeah. Mad Curls for mother and daughter curls. So the whole thing was just like such a selling point for us. Yeah. But you never know when things like this, you know what takes so off why we even got chosen i don't when, know when when so yeah so it was like diverse the first day right and then that was it it happened so quick i'm like mom we got up at four o'clock in the morning the crack of dawn to be in this room for like five minutes and then they're like okay basically thank you next and i was like wow like okay that's it well let's go home and then we were like you know basically not bothered if we get it we get it if we don't we don't mm -hmm. and so i thought it was either gonna be we get it we get it we don't we don't so Next day went by, and then that was, like, what, Wednesday? And then Thursday came. We we're just, like, laying in the bed, just chilling or whatever. And then I see the thing pop down, and it said, call back. And I was like, wait, I'm like, they want to see us again? I'm like, so I guess it's a thing where you auditioned, and then you, there's something, like, there's a call back. So if yeah. they like you, they'll, they'll, like, I guess they keep narrowing the group down. And so we're like, we got a call back. I'm like, we got to be there Friday, 115. And I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> so... Like, we're oh, at Friday. Oh my gosh, back to Grand Central. <laughs> yeah, we're like, ears bright. We're like, okay, I'm like, we're going to do it. And you were like, yeah. So, like, we confirmed. We said, okay, like, you know, we'll be there. So, when we went there today, you could definitely see how, like, they narrowed the group down. Because the first day it was, like, standing room only. Yeah. And then today you could definitely see how, like, they narrowed the group down. And there were, like, certain, like, time slots for people. Yeah. And um, we said we kind of, like, we kind of stood out because we th there was a lot of, um, like, we're type three, but there was, like, a lot of type four. So, I don't know. I think the, the the how they want to do it is like diverse. They want to like reach everybody, like um, people with type three, people with type four, different skin tones. So there was like a spectrum kind of, but there was definitely more like deeper skin tone type and, four and, there. And, and we and were the specs, and then there was us. Like. And the specs said leaning more towards deeper skin tones. Yeah, and type and type four, four, four C, hair. like that kind of thing. So we so we're sitting there, we're sitting there on the couch, we're waiting, we're like just taking in um all the competition and. Then everyone starts like, like little by little, like two at a time, or whoever you, whoever group you came with, you came with your mom or your sister, or whatever. Then you were like lined up by the door, and it started narrowing it down. And then pretty soon it was our turn. And then we went into the boardroom, and oh my gosh, it was so overwhelming. When we opened up the door, doors. We went, when we first got there, we went there because we were really early, and no one was there except one woman. And she said, "Oh, we're not ready for you yet." She said, "Just go sit out there." She said, "And then we'll call you when you um, we're ready." And when we went into that room, oh my gosh, like just all like these. I would say there was at yeah. least 20 people in the room. It went yeah. from like just that one lady when we first walked in to like every seat being filled yeah. around this huge table. Then there was just like two seats here yeah. and then boom and boom was just like, yeah, just picture a just big board people. table and two at the beginning there. We set two here and then 
lined here, all lined here, just like a big, huge Just staring at us. Like, and the brand owner. owner. I was oh like, let me not fan girl. I we're was like, like, we're like, oh my gosh. Oh and my they're like, is that what yeah. you think it is? Yeah. yeah. And was, so, yeah. Um, I was like, oh. And then they told us to sit down. So we sat down and just like, you're like on the spot. And so they said, so your macros, which one's macros? Are you macros and you macros? And then, and then you took it from there. You're like, no, we're both macros. It's an acronym for mother and daughter curls. And they're like, oh my gosh, how cute. And so then they want to know our journey. Um, and, and it's funny because when we said that, um, the brand owner kind of like knowingly like smiled, like she knew like who macros was. You could tell she knew who macros was. Yeah. So they was like thinking, did we ever say anything? Did we ever say anything? Well, I'm, like, well, I'm, like, we, I'm like, we're always trying to be funny. I'm like, it's saying stuff. We're so real. I'm like, what have we said yeah, like, about this brand? Say about us? Right. What have we said about this brand? I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> All right. But it, um, so. it was pretty quick. I don't know if they just wanted to hear us talk again in front of like everybody or... Like, I don't... Because, again, they take pictures when we got there. Just yeah. Just very... Little um, mug shots. Literally, just very um, informal pictures, just standing against the wall, and just pictures. Um, literally, I'm, like, on a cell phone, and then we took a seat, and then when we went to the boardroom, they just asked questions. I mean, we literally went down to New York both days, no more than, like, 10 minutes um, time with, with the people. Yeah. And just back on the train and back home. Yeah, it's but, just, again, they wanted to know about the channel, um us growing up they were particularly interested because you were telling them how like you cut your hair like a few times they wanted to know how you felt about like cutting your hair and and all that and um it was like i don't know it's like they, they just asked us like some questions and then that was it and they were like okay basically thanks for coming like okay so yeah. now we just wait we just wait again yeah. and see what happens I told him I just I just cut it. I said um, I let it grow on the channel because it was like the fascination. Everyone wanted to see like the hair growth journey. I said, but I was just more comfortable with short hair. I said, so literally less than a month ago I cut my hair. So she, they were like, oh wow, how do you feel about that? I'm like, fantastic. I wanted to. It was my choice. I wanted to, to cut it. So I said I just felt like you know I'm older, and I said I just think it's more flattering to me to have <laughs> shorter hair. <laughs> So, um, what else did I say? Um, cause they wanted to know about the channel. We said we love like our channel because we, we reach, um, lots of different ages. Mm -hmm. And I said that the length, I was like, so, cause they want to know how the channel evolved. That's it started out as my channel. I'm like, it was basically like a dying channel. I tried to revive it again. You had just cut, cut your hair. And I'm like, mom, there's people in the natural hair community. I'm like, who would benefit from hearing what you have to say? You have shorter hair. I was like, let's do like a long hair, short hair thing. And then it kind of turned into an age thing where I'm 25, she's 50. So now we're reaching like a big demographic of people there's a lot of different elements to um to the channel yeah we didn't tap on that as much as we wanted to when we sat back down we said we should have really talked more about the age because we do that's a, another big part of it yes it started out with the long hair short hair i said but then it evolved after the hair stopped being short then it was more like an age thing mm -hmm. that i we felt like maybe other brands didn't have that vision and we didn't really like put that across today like the way i would have wanted to that you know that's unique to our channel that um the, you know that the whole time i was talking my face was like the color of this sweatshirt i didn't see that i was like so red because yeah, i wasn't so, expecting yeah, somebody asked, is that a sweatshirt um, oh yes this is a crew neck sweatshirt yes. it's nice it has fleece inside i was excited to see that yes it's nice my love this is a small this says busted <laughs> and we weren't busted yeah we almost <laughs> were busted like they asked and like i was like I was off and running talking, and um, yeah, my we were face going to was be, like bright red. We were red. going to be, but we stepped, we stuck to script, because if we were busted, we wouldn't be here right now, because we were like, should we go shopping? We are like, I'm tired of coming out to New York, um, wasting a trip to New York. We're not looking in stores or anything, but I'm like, nope, we have live tonight. We're going to do this. I said, yeah. we're going back home, back on the train. I know, we were, I was like, Mom, I'm like, can we just like go to like a few stores? I'm like, we're here. I'm like, can we just shop a little bit? It, by that time, it was like 2.30, and we were like, no, like, we got to go. Like, let's go home, and I'm so glad we did, because I was able to take a nap. Yeah, I know, because by life. the time we got home and literally got settled, it was like, like four, four five-ish. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. By the time I finished, you know me, I come home and start doing dishes and all that. So by the time I lay down to take a quick nap, it was like about six. And then I got up at like 6.45 to do yeah. my two hours worth of concealing. But like, I was nervous today. But then like seeing all your guys' like reactions and like encouragement, I'm like, we're not doing it for us. Like just for us, but it's like for the Mad Curl spam. I'm like, we can't be busted. I'm like, you know, they're encouraging us. Like they want us to get it. I was like, you know, let's not be busted. And I like, said, it's so, I said, we came on social media for the channel that's like our baby that our channel is our baby i said this is gravy if we get this this is nice yeah i said but don't get so like wrapped up see this is the the mind of reason okay right here i said don't, let's not get so wrapped up in whether or not we get this if we get it, it'll be fun it'll be fun stories to tell um it'll just be like a one day shoot kind of a thing on and off and that would be it'll be a story to tell i said but let's not get so obsessed with you know waiting for callbacks and all that it was fun it was a great experience um all the same to me though if we get it or we don't because it's just like 
our our first love is our channel you know so that's something i don't know where it came from it just came out the blue i have no idea um you know why us we're so small and insignificant on a serious note well, no what did i say <laughs> what did i say there today i said um what did i say i was tooting my own horn as usual I, um, said, I don't know. You were kind of talking. I about said, if I do say so myself, myself. I said. Um, oh, oh yeah. You said you. You were like you were talking about the channel. You're like we are a dynamic duo. If I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, and I do. You're like basically I say a lot of things because I'm 50 and um I feel like I've earned the right basically to say whatever. Like, <laughs> and why not? Right. Yes. Okay, so I don't. Um, I think the sh the shoot whoever gets it is um. The shoot's being shot on the 31st, so the 31st is right around the corner, so I'm, I don't think they're going to be calling people back again. I hope not, because we can't keep taking the train into New York, because the train tickets are not cheap. So, hopefully, I know. we just, next time, it's just like, okay, it's either you, you're in or you're out, like, you know, kind of thing. Not, like, we oh, want to see you again. See us again. For, see. When, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Watch a Mad Curls video. Tell you all you need to know. <laughs> How we speak. How we look on camera. Exactly. And then we're starting to question our hair, because they said they wanted, um, um, natural hair and not straight and I'm like who would show up to something like this with straight hair and then um, no process could our hair be yeah any more highlighted we were really dry? there like our hair could not be more highlighted but we someone said we reached out to by the company we were reached out to by the casting director of who's doing this shoot who I guess was hired by the company so the casting director slid into our DMs and then emailed us and gave us this information and said like you know we want you to do um, are you interested in this opportunity kind of thing and but when you looked at what they were looking for it said no no colored hair no processed hair i'm like our hair is highlighted i'm like but i said well, when we questioned it the other day the first day that we went i said i said um they're not gonna i said it was fun to do i said but they're not gonna pick us i said because um our hair is is highlighted and they said natural you know they want everything natural yeah but when they call us back again i'm like maybe that's not yeah and then like point. again they were looking at our hair and like looking at the people that they picked they all had like basically their natural hair color there were no highlights there were no color i'm like how are we here when they like you know i'm like but she's the casting director i'm like she keeps she picked like i don't know she's and the as casting we were talking, director there was a man and he came up like behind me and he was like this yeah He's like, don't mind me. I'm just trying to see the, the texture. And, and he literally was like picking through my hair. Like, I didn't hear what he said. I was too busy talking. And then he came yeah. over and did the same thing to me. I thought he was looking to see if I had piercings or something. Like, I didn't know what yeah, he was looking really for. Yeah, they really were like trying to see what, you know, what our texture was and whatever else they were looking for. I don't know. But um, weird. we appreciate all your guys' enthusiasm and your encouragement. I get life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone did that to me when I was in eighth grade she was like is your hair real and i was like yes yeah. she was like are you sure there's no tracks in it she's like can i check and she literally got on top of me and went like this so that's what it kind of reminded me of else like while he was doing it like it just kind of sent me like like a flashback <laughs> but she was all up in my hair like looking for tracks like it was just i don't know it was eighth grade <laughs> um, but yeah that was that that was fun we'll keep you guys posted that was a, a great experience yeah just came out the blue so Color but if I hair. said if, if we right. get picked, you're going to be a piece of. And that was a question that we asked each other. We said, if it were if it was the job at stake, if they said that we had to dye our hair, would would it be worth it to us? I said I would have to ask the people, and they would have to pay us a significant amount of money for me to change my hair color yeah. because this took years to get. So like some people ask me how I get like how we get our hair color. This took years. This of like. You don't just get all this in one day. This is years of highlighting. So to dye it all brown or something, it would have to be some serious it would bread. Age me. Serious coin. I, I mean, like I, like I have to ask the people. What the people? I would want to know what you guys would would say. Yeah. You know, for would would you want like dyeing our hair? I'm like, are they here just for our unique uh, us, obviously, and our hair? And I mean, I think the hair you color said is that part of here it because of our hair color. I'm like, no, no. I think the unique hair color is part of it though like just the way it's highlight I think it's the whole thing so to for both of us to go say brown like I don't know I think I don't know we really talk about our highlights or see someone just said heck nah right okay. like that like I don't I don't know yeah because if the price is right <laughs> the highlights are a process it's not just a one-time deal this has been years and years of um, different dimensions and different toning and one time it was toned caramel, one time it was toned like light brown, blonde, whatever, you know, so that really yellowy, yellowy, um, straw colored blonde. 
So it's a process. Curls in the making, that's not what, like how I was thinking. She said, I think in the moment you would say, yes, you wouldn't turn down that opportunity. For me, it is a moment. It's a moment in time. And then we have a whole YouTube channel. Like this is the job. This is what we care about. And this is how I like to look on our channel. So for me to dye my hair flat, just brown, like go, go from like this to like just brown for that. Like that's only going to be like a day. I don't want to do it. Like, I don't know. I like Aries said, my brother and my other niece stopped by. My mother's 70th birthday is tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday to your mommy. Happy birthday. And uh, Faye, your niece has a track meet tomorrow. Cool. All right. You signing out, Aerie? Spend time with the fam? The Annabella Cota said, hi, everyone. But yeah, I was like, why would they, um, why would they bring us in and then bring us in again just to have us, like, dye our hair? They must like us for how we are and what's on our head why would they do all this just to have us dye our hair like i don't know but um but yeah we'll keep you guys posted posted but i said you're going to be a piece of 50 year old work because like <laughs> with commercials they like dress you and they do your hair a certain way like i did one like two years ago with dark and lovely and i did with their clumping curls gel and i did like the the, the commercial mm -hmm. or something or for that and i know how my hair dries and at the time it wasn't diffusing, it wasn't any of that, it was air drying, but when you're on a shoot, you don't have all day to have your hair dry, so they were trying to speed it up with a diffuser, and my hair, to me, looked busted. <laughs> it really looked busted, because, like, this, the speeding process was sped up, it was frizzy, like, it was just not its best look, and, um, but that's how they do it, like, you go to these things, and they do your hair, they do your makeup, I'm like, do Mom. what they feel like looks best, so, I mean, yeah. I think you would look nice with a pale pink blush and this pale pink matching lipstick guys i'm gonna have to tune her out in her makeup chair like <laughs> guys, i'm not because i can't pale i pink can't lipstick she's not gonna be having red, it anything of that nature are you kidding me like i just I if you guys that. youtube dark and lovely clumping curls clean cream gel like i think it's on the dark and lovely youtube channel it should be there yeah mm -hmm. I, it should it should be there. You in, in those pajamas that they had you in, and, and <laughs> that shower scene. She had a shower scene in that one. <laughs> Plant based booty. Yeah, we would let them do our makeup, right, Mom? We don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. But I, I mean, guess. I could see that, her that, protesting that, pink that, lipstick. Yeah, that that I, I mean, I'd have to have enough brain cells to say, okay, go ahead. But I would not be happy. Pink lipstick. Oh my gosh, I've never worn pink in my life. <laughs> I never have. I would look so crazy. It's like this is our big chance to be on TV and be in magazines. I'm like, know, we're gonna be looking us. busted. Like. I wouldn't go to forest, but oh my gosh, talk about mm, <laughs> miserable. <laughs> and then as I talked, I'm like, and just for that, I said, I think it's time for me to put on some more brown lipstick. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Okay. I mean, yeah, there have to be some negotiations because, like, you want to be able to feel good and feel pretty. Like, yeah. you know, you don't want to look crazy. So we we'll have to see. Yeah, no, tone, uh, Brooke Santana, the toners are non-permanent. Um, yeah, because every now and then you have to kind of like get your hair retoned, not necessarily the, the highlights, but it does have to have that ashy look again. So when it starts getting kind of brassy, sometimes it just needs toning, right? Right, right, right. Right. But Other yeah. than purple shampoo. But we will keep you guys um, posted. Mm -hmm. Let me know something. Oh, that was a lot of talking. Should we talk <laughs> products? Should, yeah. should we talk products? We got some this week. Yeah, we did. We got sent some from a subscriber okay. and we got sent some from a company. Should we start with the company? Yeah, why don't we start with the company? Okay. One of my favorite companies. They got two new products. Curl Junkie. Look at this. Curl Junkie came out with some new products and we got them. This is Curl Queen. They used to have Curl Queen gel and now this is called Curl Queen Smoothing. It might be um a newer version of curl queen. oh sorry hold on one sec i didn't see curly guy in here because curly guy I keep quoting you um yes um we may be stars curly guy you said in 2019 what did he say we're gonna be booked and busy so <laughs> we kind of got a booking a potential booking and you spoken in the atmosphere so that's what's going down <laughs> um go ahead. Oh, we're gonna be stars yeah yes, of course of course all right so curl junkie these came out i was like having a felt like oh my gosh oh my gosh i have to add them to my collection i like the way they do cute things so i reached I out to, to the them. company and they had this at one point, but they renamed it um, Curl Queen Smoothing. The Curl Queen, the original Curl Queen you gel, I love, that, love that. I use that forever. I never tried that one. I always tried Pattern Pusher. And Ooh. there's another one, Aloe Fix, that I want to try as well. And then they made a leave-in to go with it. So we want to do a video on this. Mm -hmm. We're so busy going back and forth to New York, haven't done no filming. I know. Where are we supposed to? 
because we're busted. Mm -hmm. And this, I love the colors, purple and pink, so cute. Can you just imagine the aesthetics? So cute. So, all right, so those are two new ones. Yeah. What are the prices on those? Um, Weren't they in the 20s? Yeah, I think the Each? gel might be rough 24. Oh, they smell good. Yeah, something like 24 it smell like tropical, kind yeah. of. Um, okay. Oh, it's Melissa. Um, we did talk about the overnight hot oil treatment. Did you have any, like, specific questions about it? Like, I know someone DM'd me asking, like, how did we not get it all over our pillow? And I was like, we, like, really secured our heads. Yeah, I put a plastic baggy over my head or you know those little plastic caps and then i tied like a bandana scarf tight yep. on my head i did that tight. and then i put a bonnet on and okay. like we really secured it down yeah did you put it on alone with conditioner no so we took our hair basically in like a state like this like we didn't wash our hair or anything mm -hmm. and then we sprayed each section wet put yeah. the oil in and then wrapped it up yeah they said soak your hair with the like a spray bottle and we did and then we just put the oil through this is not an of a greasy oil this is a really this is a great oil i love my hair the results of it this morning um i appreciate that rachel definitely was not <laughs> a, a greasy oil so um i'm sure if it would have gotten on our pillows or something it would have been a mess but um, I really like this oil. Vanessa Bristow, we want to do um, a hot oil treatment tutorial. It's mm -hmm. just this was both our first time doing it, so we didn't want to. We wanted to bring some knowledge and like try it yes, first to we see if we'd like it or, before, so or whatever. I didn't know. We didn't even know like whether to rinse it out, shampoo it out. Yeah, that's what we were asking. We were like, how do we rinse it out of our head? Even though I read on the side, um, it gives directions. Okay. On how to rinse it out. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to ask you guys as far as the video goes. So. We've been noticing a lot of comments, people complaining about coconut oil and how like a lot of products have coconut oil in it. You guys don't like coconut oil. And so we wanted to do kind of like our glycerin free video. We wanted to do coconut oil free products. And I thought that was going to be simple. There were just like basic names for coconut oil on the ingredients list. I was going to go through some of our favorites and to see what was coconut free and what wasn't. Right. But then I noticed there are ingredients derived from coconut oil. So how in depth do you want to go? Because I had like yeah. this... I had this, these, all these products, okay, these are coconut oil free, and then I saw that it was like, you know, on the Alakay Naturals thing, it said like, you know, for example, cetyl alcohol is derived from coconut oil, and I was like, wait a minute. Do we go like, that deep when we do something like this? Like, is that considered coconut, having coconut oil in If it's product? derived from, because if it's derived from coconut oil, I don't know if this video can go down, because there was like a list of like a hundred names, a hundred ingredients of things derived from coconut oil. I know cetyl alcohol is one of them, and most of our products have cetyl alcohol in it, so I was like... <laughs> Yeah. Me too, Jan. I love Let me put all oil. these products back on the shelf because they all have cetyl alcohol in it and that's derived. So, like, do you want it? Do you care if it's derived from coconut oil or just if it has, like, you know, Coco Neff, that name? And, like, so, someone said not that deep. Okay. Because okay. there's basic names where it's straight up coconut oil. You know it's coconut oil. But then there's other things that may, it might be derived from coconut oil. No, um, Ruth, we didn't do a video yet. We were practicing on our own heads before we do that for maybe a treatment Tuesday or something. We had never done a hot oil treatment before. So we got this blended therapy from Allocate Naturals and we wanted to try it. Okay. So it, there is no video on it yet. We were trying it because we wanted to bring it to video. All right. I'm glad you guys said it. So so someone said that yes to the no coconut oil, but derivatives are okay. Okay, that makes this a little okay. bit simpler. Now the video's back on. I can go back through and figure it out because we have products that don't have any coconut oil whatsoever but it has like stuff that might be derived from coconut oil and it was just getting way too complicated now this is too much this is too much yeah we're definitely going to do a tutorial on the hot oil what are they saying so they want the hot oil and then i yeah so they, they want to okay um, do the hot oil yes that's what i felt because we said like deep conditioners and treatment so i figured this is a treatment and our hair definitely needs it needed it but still needs it my hair was beautiful this morning it's it was the elements it was new york it was that wind it was that freezing freezing cold um ice on the car so no so this is i guess this is why people protective style in the winter yeah because letting my hair run free like this just look at the dryness of it all and i have slapped on so many things since i've been home mm -hmm. um that shea yogurt i've put on um what else did i put in my hair this afternoon since i've been home um oh first i just started with the kink drink then I did the allocate um, refresher, but see, those are all like liquids. So that probably... I was like, yeah, I'm like, so I'm thinking, like, I love the allocate wash and go the leave-in and 
the the curling delight and um i'm like i think those are just too light like we love the wash and go but it's too light even mine i could see my hair a little bit here it's it's get it's dry yeah. and it wasn't like that we really need some, this like, morning some camille rolls like um, we need some thick that, butters some dry twisting butter we need some that curl aid we need some of that um that carol's daughter that yes god's that. child i've been making sure to do that insert in the cocoa. back insert in the back of the bottle so they could see the ingredients for those yes. people that like ingredients yeah you will you've always done that right pretty much no no not yeah. really okay. no all right but i started doing it um all right so now we should show we show the next line that um one of our subscribers sent us yes even though she's not here tonight d curly she's it always came to us d curly is just like mad generous yeah, so really <laughs> we got these we were like wow so she I've sent been to try us this line since i was newly Mop natural top. 10 years ago yeah but mop top is no joke like, it's not mop top is up there i would say with like curl junkie and like price it's just one of those like brands that people talk about but they don't really but they do but they don't but like their prices are yeah. up there yeah you know? it's like curl junkie like it, it exists it's out there it, it has a um a steady following in the natural community like particular like you know, that's why I was so shocked to find on our channel there's so many Curl Junkie followers. Yeah. Because, like, some, like, I always wanted Mop Top, but I just never invested in Mop Top. Yeah. But it was invested in for us until here Curls in the making. Yes. So, I, we have not tried Meech yet. I do want to dive into that line. I have not dived yet. Hopefully this week I can dive at some point because I want to test it first. Sometimes we do first impressions on stuff. For Meech, I don't want to do a first impression. I want to come knowing what I'm talking about, knowing what I like. Um, and... So I need to test Meech. I, we have not tested any of the Meech products yet, but they are staring at me, wanting me to test them. Um, okay. But yeah, so for Mop Top, we got the deep conditioner. It smells like mint. It does. Yeah. Mint on the lines of Mayel, the new The Mayel new Mayel one, one the rosemary mint. Minty. It's that yeah. kind of mint. It's yeah. like that serious, open up your sinuses and your chest mint. Jasmine Walker said, Mop Top is new to me. You've never um, seen it, heard it? Or are, are you using it now or? Yes, so yeah, people are saying mop top, mop top. Yeah, so there's a line called, in the curly world called mop top. Okay. And this is mint. What is, I wanna know where this mint is coming from. What's the, I don't know. Um. So it has the ingredients list, but sometimes it'll like products typically say like the main, the major ingredients in it, and this one doesn't. It just has all the ingredients listed. Oh, you mean like just like it'll say like you stand out something like the stand yes, out thing, okay. like this that says like bamboo essence or right. whatever. Like what's, okay, yeah, I wonder what that mint is coming what's from. The mint, where's that coming from? Oh well, anyway, the rest of the line. So then there's a leave-in conditioner that we got, and then there's a curly hair custard here. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me see. I didn't open these the other day. Test meat. Okay, there's lots of meat people on I here. I know. No, we are. We're totally testing meat. Meech is definitely coming. Yes, Mop Top, Great Scholar. Um, never heard of Mop Top? Mop Top's been around for years. Has it? Yeah, it's been around when um when I first um, transitioned 10 years ago. I don't know if these are available in stores. Very we we really one. haven't done our research on this line yet because there's I've just... I've only seen it on Naturally Curly. Really? I've seen it on Instagram. Wait, somebody said they saw it in their Whole food store. I think I saw that comment. Is Mop Top a high-end brand? Let me get some. I believe it is. Let me get some mop top prices going. Let's okay. see. I believe it is. That's yeah, I mean, it's like it would be. I mean, what do you consider high end? Like, is sixteen ninety nine for one back, eight ounce conditioner? Back in the high day, end? I think mop top. Um, like was, Divas high end. Their conditioners are like twenty two dollars. Eight. Well, some of them are like eighteen, eighteen twenty two. Divas considered high end. I think. Ruth, high if end. you. Go to the YouTube search thing, type in dark and lovely clumping curls. Like, you have to go to the dark and lovely YouTube channel, and the video should be like in their listed in their video somewhere. It was like two years ago. Okay, so Grace Girl never heard um, of it. So, I've heard of it, I've just never tried it. So, um, let's see. The customer's like 16. Okay, so it's kind of like it's like mid range. So, maybe it's like, I wouldn't throw it in with like, Diva and We Dad. No, so then it's like Camille Rose. Um, yeah. Dan Carter-ish, right? Like, okay. Let's see. Maybe like everything else when it came out years ago, like, you know, when um Curls came out years ago. It All was right. So they break their website down to find straight, wavy, curly 
kinky coily hair so they really okay. break it down we'll just save you all for now i'm just trying to see some prices okay so they have bundles load more they don't got no product okay twenty thousand above is high end okay okay so like their daily conditioner twelve ninety nine, shampoo eleven ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine. Okay. You nice. can get um travel size bundle for eight bucks. So you can get like little sample sizes, a whole bunch of samples for eight bucks on their website. Hi, Barbie Lovable. Yeah, so I mean they're I wouldn't say they're high end. I wouldn't I I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't jump out to that. What about honey handmade? You talked about that the other yes. day, right? It's Colleen's fault. CCJ. Is anyone <laughs> follow CCJ on Insta uh, Instagram, Colleen? She just shops till she drops. And so every new thing that comes out that I see, I swear she's always she's posting it. Like she just gets it. I'm like, you were like today, she need to open her own channel. She need to have a YouTube channel. She got more products than we have. Right, and that's what I said. I want to try honey handmaids. I went to their website and um it was a little overwhelming. They have a lot of uh masks they have tons of masks there's a lot going on on their website yeah it's so overwhelming you it's, it's on our that. list yeah you'll be very it's, interested it's on our list along with she sent it you're still waiting for your naturally united curl stuff to come yes, anybody ccj's not on here so i don't know how long that takes oh there it is rachel anthony posted the dark and lovely video oh my gosh i'm gonna click on it i haven't seen it in a while what is that? oh lord <laughs> it's busted. no judgment guys <laughs> but yeah i guess that that's the link if you click on the link Okay. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Bustedness. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> the server can't be found. Huh. Okay. That was your 15 minutes of fame? That was literally my 15 minutes of fame. Okay. <laughs> 15 seconds. Honey handmade, okay. I believe the high, the prices were higher years ago. Yeah, I think they were. Just Ashley. Yeah. Almost like Curls. Like, Curls still has that kind of like designer line that they had years ago. Now they're in Target, but they still have it on Naturally Curly. That kind of cashmere and the bottles were shaped differently. I knew there was another curls line. And then they put it in Target and made it more affordable, but they still have those high end prices on Naturally Curly from that same line. I believe it's from the same line. Mm -hmm. I just you said honey handmade products are my favorite brand. Yeah, she sent it. Oh, I'm using the cake batter leaving tonight, Lorianne. Okay. How long does it take for their stuff to come? Because they said seven days before they ship it or five days and then add an additional three to five days on that. So I thought maybe I'll get it maybe around the 31st, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. You look bad, Tay. <laughs> Kid sister, does it smell like cake batter? That's what I asked Colleen the other day. I'm like, does it smell like cake batter? Like, I want that real, I just love the way cake batter smells. I don't know. Wait, what? what do you think of Trey Lux? We haven't tried that. Have you tried it ever yet? Uh, I did a wash and go with it. The stuff that I used, I liked. I used their leave-in and like their serum, like their jelly type of serum and um i liked it it was nice we still have to dive more into that line we just have products just sitting on the shelves and we were saying that we want to do um we want to do more creams and so a lot of these lines have gels like this one has like custard in a gel like our hair is just dry right now so we're trying know, to it's, figure it out it's winter and we're trying to preserve our hair and and last year we were just like willy-nilly just styling and putting products in but um looks like a process mm -hmm. this year but we have it and we just have to do it yep. it's that commercial was that dark and lovely one was before mad curls that was when did we start mad curls we started mad curls in like march ish that was probably in like february yes yeah and we went and we did that hey maureen wilson is that um yvonne copeland said hey what is the line you just mentioned mop top Mop top. Mm. Cheetah Tool Six said, "You're not busted at all, Tay." <laughs> Who's in that? Is it is it Shida Shida Tool Six? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, I thought I looked a little busted. I mean, I know my hair can look better, and I was like, so we, "We did 
we did the clumping curls gel for our, our YouTube video. I think my hair looked better in our YouTube video than it did in that video. Right? I know. Um, Wait, I thought somebody said before that that melanin line was out, uh, naturally 85. Is that line out? Who said that before? Jasmine Gray said she used the Wet Line Extreme Gel. She paired it with the Camille Rose Curl Up and her hair was so weighed down. Can we give her a good leave-in to pair it with? What kind of stuff do you guys like to pair the Wet Line Extreme Gel with? You paired it with the Nature's Little Secret Banana Leave-In. Yes. What did she pair me, it with? I, she paired hers with the um, Camille Rose Curl Up. Oh, yeah. No, um, I think our very first Mix It Up we did on our channel... Um, it was starting to mix and match different brands, and I use that honey, that is a honey love, that love, that is very thick. I think we used no, that. Curl Love. Curl Love, yes. We did that with Uncle Funky's, and our hair was very way down. Mm -hmm. That in particular just um, is a very thick, is it a leave-in? Is it a, a butter and a bottle? I mean, I, it's very, I very mean, thick. I mean, Camaro's products are thick, period. Yeah, but so. that one in particular is very, very thick. Um, okay. I, I think dry twisting butter is thick, but it doesn't leave kind of like that thick, um, oily, it just felt, it just, like she said, it weighed our hair down. Okay. Um, Vanessa so. Bristol had the, um, Jane Carter on, um, Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I use the Curl Mix, the, um, the, one of the avocado moisturizers. I love that. Yeah, the the gel, I mean, um, the leave-in has to be kind of light, yeah. Because I would definitely say the Camille Rose is a little bit thick. Okay, somebody likes the kinky, curly, not today leave-in with the Camille Rose Thank curl you, Shantae. <laughs> okay. But we're still trying to kind of get away from gels because we're thinking that's not helping the situation any. Gels? Yeah, we yeah. want to do more creams. Kind of like last year when we did that wash and go that um that coconut one by cream of nature things like that like the leave-in that's a cream and then the the curling cream that's a cream and you think like cream and cream is like too much but it really isn't i don't think this time of year mm -hmm. so um the talia wahi that apple and um was it apple and aloe apple and aloe that was really thick cream this is the time of year for that i think yeah that's what i said i was like you know we need to get that um the talia wahi mm -hmm. popping again popping again because Yes, um, Sarah Zeppelin, we have it. Have y'all heard of True by Made Beautiful? Yeah, we bought it, and we never used it. It's literally probably almost like a year old, if not a year old, because mm -hmm. we bought it and never. It was an impulse shop. We were at the grocery store one day. And Stop it was there. and shop. Yeah, buying. Well, I saw it the other night. I'm something. Like, oh, there. We never even opened we it. Never even yeah. used it. So it's there. Let's see. Oh, cool. So Jada said she was the girl that was looking for a cheap gel, and she uses the Eco Gold. It's a keeper. Yeah, okay. we like the we like the um the Eco Gold. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Yeah, I like that one. My favorite one before that one was the Aloe one. And then when the gold came around, I mean, I still like, like the Aloe, and I gravitate towards the Aloe, mm -hmm. but that gold one, um, I love that. I love the way her hair came out in that video. Is the wet line gel drying? I didn't find it to be drying. I didn't find it drying at all. I didn't find it drying no. at all. Hey, Alexis Simmons. Oh, was this it? Does this link work? Let's see. Oh, Karen Reese said, waiting for my cream of nature coconut milk products to come. You never tried that, Karen? Why can't it? Why isn't nobody's links working? I'm trying to see my own commercial and I can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> None of the links are working. Oh, Gadget Girls, I got the melanin butter and oil. Oh, and oil. Okay. It's a whole line, though, right? And is the line out, the whole line out yet? Oh, she hasn't tried that. Oh, Karen doesn't try that. You'll love that. I loved that, that combination. Hi, Diamond Hill. You might have used too much product if the wet line and swayed your hair down. Yeah, I think someone said that, um, they left a comment and they said that their hair felt really weighed down and it was probably, and she said it was because she used too much product, which I think in the video, I kind of just like tapped my hand in it because I felt like things could get out of control with that product because it is like, you. I feel like there is a propensity to pick up a lot of the product. Let's see, have you guys tried the new main choice peach black tea line? No. no. 
Mm. Yeah, that one was like volume enhancing or something. That one didn't really tickle um, my fancy. The, enjoyed. Yeah, the anti breakage. Okay, so kind of like, a, is it a complete line or is it something like? No, it's like kind of like a carrot and there's like another. There's like a shampoo, a conditioner. I don't know if they're stylers. Are there stylers in the, in the new main choice line? Um, it has a foam. Yeah. Hey, Tierra Price. Um, which Aunt Jackie's products worked best for you guys? I was at the store and forgot which one you guys liked or used. Um, so we did the the flaxseed recipe one. We like the um, what is it? The no shrink gel. Yes. And the curl maintenance. Uh, that was my favorite one. And yeah. You like the curl maintenance. The cream. So there's a cream and there's a gel. Mm -hmm. Both of them are one and done. Don't stick them together because yes. they don't mix up at all. No. Nope. They'll but, curl. Yeah. Yeah. One's a one's a cream. Um. One's a cream and one's a gel. So from the the flaxseed recipe line. Have you guys had a chance to try Bounce Curl products yet? And if so, is it all hype or does it really work? And is it worth the money? Oh my gosh, Bounce Curl has been in the house for years. Yeah, so yeah. I've used Bounce Curl for at least, I would say three or four years. I I love the Bounce mm -hmm. Curl gel. I know it is pricey. Um, it's on the verge of not working for my hair texture. I'm 3B, 3C. Um, I always have to use a leave-in. I know they promote it with people not using a leave-in. And if your hair like textures like that, like the, the owner, Ms. Mo, she has like all that, that black hair that she just like kind of puts it in and goes. Her hair texture is definitely looser than mine. I, the, the gel can be drying if you do not use a leave-in, if you have a thicker hair texture. I know a lot of like type four naturals are not really for it at all. It doesn't do anything for them. It's on the verge of not doing anything for me, but I've been using it for years. I put a leave-in underneath it. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie underneath it, but um, I love it. I think it's, I love it. When I use it, I, I found like, you know, the right leave-ins to use with it. I love the gel. I think it's a great gel. I don't remember how I used it at the time that we did that video. We did that mask first. Remember the rockin' mask? Yeah. And then we went in with that gel. We and went I in with leave-ins. I forget what leave-in you did. I don't remember what leave-in I did. Let me see. Let me see. Mad Curl. Let me see. Bounce Curl. Oops. Yeah, somebody said you had a code. Do you st does your code still work? Yeah, the code is Taylor Ann, I believe. You save like 1%. No, like, no, I think it's like 5% off or something. You save like a dollar forty. Yeah, let me see. Is it Wendy Warren? Yes, the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream was a good creamy one and done for me. Yeah, that was a good creamy one and done for me too. So stuff like that, I'm going to start heading back towards because um, this dryness. Bounce Curl Gel is too light for me, Karen Reeves said. We tried, Rachel Anthony. We did, I think, a braid out on the channel. Yeah, so I, I'm looking at the Bounce Curl video now. I definitely show a lot of options for... Okay. Yeah, I show a lot of options for leave-ins. You have... Oh, you used the Jane Carter. The Jane Carter Untangle Me. I just saw you shake that up in your hand. Okay. That's what I use. But yeah, yeah. we get all into it in the video um okay that's good yeah we do have options there mm -hmm. i i looks like i'm using the maui moisture where did maybe I get that shirt i don't know <laughs> where'd i get that oh my gosh you made fun of me for that shirt <laughs> i did you're like where'd you get that <laughs> that was aesthetically pleasing though it matched it the aesthetic but you made um, fun of me for that we're we are good at it so we don't really do it like this is really a wash and go channel so to speak um crystal so. garcia that five percent is my discount Hold on, I'm trying to explain to mm -hmm. Rachel Anthony that we don't do twist outs or braid outs. We've tried. You guys walked us through a braid out, I think, a couple of months ago. And you guys said we did pretty good with it. But um, it's not like something that we do, like, no fancy styles on the channel because we're just not good at it. Yeah, but but the Bounce Curl discount is literally, like, how much is it? It's like a dollar forty. Um. <laughs> they only do wash and goes. Yep, Tierra. <laughs> I need my tea reheated up. You used the Jane Carter Untangle Me Leave in Lorian. Yes, I did. We just saw, did you just click on it, 106 Andy? Click on what? 
Jay Way said, hey, Mad Curls, I didn't think y'all would be live. Yes, we're live, but barely. <laughs> <laughs> we crawled back from New York. We did. We were there, on. and I wanted to go shopping so bad. I was like, can we just stop? Because there's a store, like, in this free, and it's only in New York mm -hmm. unless you buy it online, and it's, like, Korean skincare, and I love their facial masks. And I'm like, can we just go to Innisfree, let's just take an Uber really quick and go to Innisfree and pick up some masks. and they're so cheap. They're so good, oh my gosh. That's all I've been using all winter is their green tea line, like the serum, the hydrating cream. Yeah. Like I just love Korean skincare. I love Innisfree and it's in New York and there's a store on um, Lexington Ave and there's a store on, broad, in broad, um, on Broadway. And so if you're in New York and you like skincare, I, we totally recommend Innisfree and their sheet masks. They're like $1.40 each or something. And they have tons of different ones. And we did one the other night before our um, first casting call. We did. I, I did like a hydrating one and my skin looks so good. Which one did I do? Um, I don't remember. It was a nourishing one because that word nourishing and moisturizing. But um, I love the results. I always like brightening ones too though. Hold on, the J Wade said, Hi Lorianne, you sent me a friend request today. I did from which site? Facebook or and so it had to have been Facebook maybe. I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, oh it's Melissa. Yeah, I've talked about in its free before on Instagram, definitely. Yeah, no, their skincare is so good. I love their stuff. What street number on Lexington Ave? Um hope oh, please. Let me see. Hi, Motiqua. Their stuff is like affordable. And let me see. Oh, on Instagram. Okay, what's your name on Instagram? I was on there, I think, yesterday. I was just clicking anything that's blue that says follow. I just follow. <laughs> it is free Lexington. It is 750 Lexington Ave. That's the one on Lexington. Okay. And then there's one. This is 59th, somebody said. Oh, um, that's Innis Jewelry. That's not it. This is the one on Broadway, um, 862 Broadway. So we've, we've been to both locations. And the one on Lexington is the newest location. Mm -hmm. But their stuff is good. Erica Washington said, hi, I'm late to the party. <laughs> My name is Motiqua Ala Call M U A. Okay. Hold on. I'll type it. It's called Innis Free. I love face masks. Incredible me that I have so many face masks. Yeah. We just love skincare, period, yeah. over here. I love their Manuka Honey face mask. That's like the moisturizing one. Mm -hmm. I like their their tea tree mask. That's when my face is like breaking out, the tea tree mask. Um, their green tea mask is really good. Which is the one I tried? I think it was a acai, acai berry. Acai berry. Yeah. I think it was a brightening one the other day. Okay. I love that one. Yeah. I wanted to order some, but then I'm just like, I don't want to pay shipping. But then I guess I would have had to have paid an Uber to get over to the place today. But I don't know. But I definitely want to get some more masks. They have like lime green, like a lime, a lime one. Like they, the other oh. guys have to go to their website. I think I have the lime one upstairs. Did you have the lime one? I think I have the oh. lime one upstairs. I totally want to try the lime okay. one. I think, it's yeah. the, I think it's another brightening or something. You're literally say, like CVS. I, I know. I think I think they say it's like translucent or transparent. like Skin? Like, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I, don't know. I feel like I have discoloration. And, um, okay, yeah. Brightening would be good for you. It's, what did somebody say? Um, so, Tanagos, $15 shipping. Sabrina Miller, where do you live? No, I saw that today. And so I took one thing out of the box and then went down to nine. But I think they said it's called heavy shipping or something, heavyweight shipping. So the more bottles and things you put in, um, the more I guess that shipping price goes up. Unless you wow. reach a limit, maybe, what's the limit, 50? Which makes sense. Certified. I'm not complaining about shipping prices anymore after we've had to ship a few things recently. Yeah. Because shipping is no joke. Like, I guess companies and places have to charge what they charge, especially like something like Sultanicals. If they're, they're, I wouldn't say they're a big business, right? Not really, the way they move. Um, like, they're in stores, but I think they still whip it. Do they still whip it? I up? think um, I they're, they're, they're big. They're not like, um, 
a homemade one, like I in the kitchen. Know. I think, but like growing. naturally United um, curls, because I was gonna buy you um, the leave-in, and then you ended up you ended up getting it for yourself. But like the shipping, like wasn't it like. I don't know. Shipping's like seven bucks, like for most places What's at that? least. Oh, oh, naturally United curls. Yeah, which I can understand um, that seven dollars because that's like a microscopic. Oh box. no, that shipping was ten. I think. Wow. I think that shipping was ten, if I'm not mistaken. I thought that was outrageous. That shipping. Am I mistaken? I think it was ten dollars. I was shocked to see that. Yeah. I think that's why you didn't get it. I said I love you, but I wasn't in love with you. Yeah. Once I saw the shipping, I was like, wow. Yeah. But um, it it costs money to ship. Shipping is not no, cheap out here. Eric, I haven't received it yet, and I order. I looked today. I ordered it on the what's today's date? Mm -hmm. So I just saw that today. I was checking to see what was taking so long, and I think I still have. I'm giving it to like the 31st because the way I read it, I ordered it, and then they said give it like seven days, and then an additional three to five or something. I don't know. But, well, Tiqua, um, we're so happy you had a good experience with Joe. He's really good. Yeah, he's good. And he's nice. I like, we like, we always, since, oh, since D we Carl is here. D Carl, you missed our, our unboxing of your um, mop top Mop stuff. top. Thank you for your mop top. Thank you. Let me see. Who's I on here looking for? Oh, my um, email to see when my... Jasmine Gray, Taylor, how did you get your hair so long? My straightened hair is your curly hair length. I've been natural four years now, and my curly hair won't go past my shoulders. Um, I don't want to say I take vitamins. I do here and here and there. Um, I take my time detangling. I don't, I don't know. Like, what do we do to our, get our hair to grow? Like, your hair grows overnight. You just keep cutting it I off. I think we had a conversation like so. one time about this. People's hair, I think, grows either in density or length. Mine tends to grow in density, so it grows out, whereas yours grows in length. When I was a child, and even as my hair grows, you guys never saw my hair this length, not that I would let it get to be that length at my age, but it grew, it was getting bigger and bigger. It was, you know, and, I, and that's one of the main, main reasons why I cut it. I didn't want it just this big hair, but my hair never grew this long. So, um, I think, what do you guys think? I don't, I don't watch my hair and I don't do stuff to make my hair grow. So, um, Looking I mean, for a natural hair salon in New Jersey, does anyone have recommendations? The Angel Salon? The Angel Salon, that's where, um, I get my hair cut and we were just talking to someone, Motiqua. lots of us on here get our hair cut there. You were more into into getting doing stuff to make your hair grow so you did different oils and, and yeah. different things i i know I like like it's annoying when people ask and like you really don't have an answer but like i really don't do anything to make my hair grow i don't take vitamins i don't do oil treatments i don't do scalp massages i don't do rice treatments um i know i do take my time detangling my hair so for me it's more about length retention than growing my hair because you can grow the hair but you can also damage it and all fall out your head so for me it's more like retaining what i have so I take my time detangling my hair and stuff, and I'm, I'm like yanking and pulling and like breaking my hair off. I try to trim my ends when mm -hmm. I can, so Wait, I don't get on. split ends. Tiara Price said it's not jeans, and then she said how fast it takes is jeans. What does that mean? Because other people are saying it's genetics. Curly fit cheek said it's genetics. Um, okay, I could literally do nothing, and my hair will grow because my mom's hair is past her knees. Yeah, I think it's I think it's genetics. Um, you guys do deep conditioners and stay away from heat. Yeah, no, we definitely stay away from heat. That's the first tip we tell everybody: yeah. stay away from heat. We don't even do like heat. people will come and we'll spend like all this time explaining and going through the DMs and telling them and walk them step by step. And next, you know, we'll see them grinning. On Instagram, straightened hair. <laughs> okay, there they go. How they getting? I'm like, oh my god, they straightened their hair. Like, what about 
not straightening your hair, not putting heat near your hair. Am I obsessed with that part of it? Maybe I'm just too obsessed. Some people say occasionally. I don't even believe occasionally. I think occasionally once your hair is healthy, but if you're fresh in the natural hair, like if you're, if you're fresh trying to go natural, you need to stay away from heat because your hair is already trained one way. You're trying to train it back the other way or, or get it to grow out. So to keep putting heat to your hair is not a good idea. Okay, so here's my email from... Um, what is it naturally united they said so that was done on the 17th and they said orders are fulfilled within one week and shipping days are tuesday and thursdays please allow three to five additional days for shipping so the 17th and then three to five additional it takes one week so 17th one week would be the 24th and then three to five additional days so today i said around the 31st ish i'll be looking for it so for you ortiz yeah so we were taking um nature's bounty hair skin and nails and like that was basically like just a ton of biotin and so we were doing biotin mm -hmm. at one point along with other stuff it was it, it wasn't because at one point i was taking just strictly biotin but these hair skin and nails has a whole mix of different um vitamins that are good for your hair like mm -hmm. maybe folic acid and i don't, I don't yeah, know people are saying low manipulation um so so Montico said protein free video. Okay, I'll add that to the list. So pro oh, pro protein free products. Really, Erica? Because she's back she in might December. be suffering from protein overload. Mm. And I said low manipulation, meaning what? Like braiding or touching or? I'm allergic to biotin. Yeah, a lot of people are. A lot of people say um, biotin breaks them out. Breaks their skin out. Yeah. Yeah. I need a snack. I can't help it. I have to straighten once in a while. Yeah, I know. So I mean, some people just like feel like I mean, to each his own. We've never had this many people in the room consistently. Wow. We did just hit uh, hit fourteen thousand subscribers, so that's exciting. Hey. Who's in the shadows? Say hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what else? I feel like I was going to say something. Taking and I biotin, you should drink a lot of water. Oh, somebody asked, are we still going to be doing treatment Tuesdays when the weather's getting? gets warmer That's we so weren't funny. sure if we were going to be doing treatment tuesdays with the weather still being colder we realized that we've done about 18 17 or 18 now and we're wondering if it's like we monotonous like, now yeah we're feeling like our last few ones are just like we're just going through the motions kind of and we're not as inspired oh. as we were like right, the so first one coming out the darkness girl all right so we have a tony rogers where jay mac Natalista. oh hi <laughs> Okay. Lucretia Bob. Hey. Okay. Amy Jackson. Oh my gosh, look at all the people coming out the woodwork. We just uh -huh. want to say hi. Right. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Sweetie 2G3. Is it Muna Abdi? Hi. Colorado Running. I remember um, that name from last week. Any other vitamins that can grow my hair that's not biotin? Just strictly biotin? You mean you don't want biotin at all in the vitamins? Or just um, Cheryl Reed? You have just. A little bit just as part of the vitamin mixture or you just can't have biotin at all so you guys still want the treatment Tuesdays okay okay all right because I'm like you know you were like they you know I think they get how to you know deep condition at this point I'm like I don't think it's about the deep conditioning and like drilling that in like no make sure you deep condition I think it's just showing different deep conditioners which we were even saying like like that week I had a bad week, that, like I tried the Cantu one and that one was terrible. That was just like a waste of a wash day because that mask really messed up my hair and like my hair cannot take being messed up right now. So we were like, we're almost, they're almost going to just, <laughs> just do our treatment Tuesday with us and we're going to talk because um, they might see the same masks again and they're just, it's just a treatment Tuesday because I, I want to start doing stuff that I know is going to work for my hair because yeah. my hair is in like, you know. SOS mode right now. Yeah, it's we want dry. to start doing things that we know. So I don't want to be testing and stuff. And then you guys are saying like more stories, more stories. Like that was part of it. And I think it's becoming almost like monotonous. So we're like missing out on the stories because we're just doing the deep treatment. And it's just, we're just putting it out. And I'm like, is this getting dry and boring now? Is it just like. You know, people keep saying all in the vlogs tonight they want vlogs. I mean, they keep it on the chat they want vlogs. So. Vlogs? You guys want vlogs again ish? Vlogs sometimes? I know. Are we that exciting? Yeah, so Monica Boston said I'm always in the shadows. Okay. Not tonight, you're not. Hi. <laughs> okay, Tara, is it I Z? Hey, I'm at work and listening to you on my phone. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Sabrina's Hi, from, fam. from Canada. Okay. Tay, oh, the cream of nature, pure me. honey mask. Right, I forgot about that one. Okay. Vlog once a week if you can. That would be interesting mm -hmm. to like vlog all week, do a weekly vlog and just put it out. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like yeah, just put like, it out, vlog like a little bit every Remember, day. Uh, uh, Chelsea used to watch Kim Tai. Kim Tai, Remember, she, she did that. that. Yeah, yeah she, she had hers. weekly yeah. vlogs. I know, I underestimate vlogs. I love watching vlogs, but I don't think you guys would want to watch our vlogs. Like, but I yeah. love watching people's vlogs. I said that today that we should vlog, but I mean, sometimes it kind of takes away from like the memory or the activity because you're so busy trying to vlog it, but like vlogging yeah like when we went to yeah. um like the we went when we did our business lunch we we're like oh we should have vlogged it i know we had like so much fun just sitting there talking yeah and like if we had like the camera set up like okay another day another vlog okay <laughs> okay, okay right. so d crowley said our treatment tuesdays inspire her to keep at it i felt like there was a there's an audience there for that we got you guys started on it and so um, awesome, just Ashley. Just tell them Matt Curl right. sent you. <laughs> she found the Angel Salon. Okay. Matt Curl's fam sent you. Yeah. <laughs> You'll love that place. You'll love Joe. They're, he's awesome. He, like, teaches you as he goes. He definitely does. He gives you hair tips. Like, it's great. It's, like, an educational experience. Yep. Okay. Um, so I always tell Ashley to inspire. So, yeah, we'll keep doing it. We just have to find some new content. We have to think of something new. All right, Joe said maybe, um, uh, not Joe, Jan. He said maybe do treatments that you've talked about but not necessarily applied on camera like the Afrotastic or Curl Junkie. Oh. Right. I'm sorry. Speaking of Joe, has anybody watched you? I've been talking about that show for like the past like <laughs> three days ever since I finished it. It's so good. I'm watching it again with um, Spencer. I'm like, you have to watch um, you. Even though I keep, I keep calling it Joe. I'm like, you have to watch Joe because like the main character's name is Joe. I'm like, you got to watch Joe. Like, this show is crazy. All right, so is it, I know she pronounced it before. JCN, JCN said, can you do second and third day hair vids? You know, when the, when the moment arises, we do. We'll put a product in and we'll see that we'll get two or three days here. But because we're product reviewers, we're kind of having a quick turnover. Um, in the winter, not as much because we're trying to avoid washing our hair so much. In the summer, we try to do, when we could, days that were more than, two or three days we would show yeah. the results after that but it's not always possible because we're reviewing products and um and you guys have been saying you want um refreshing videos like right. how we do how we review the rest of our products you want us to start reviewing refresher sprays and how we like refresh with creams and mm -hmm. yeah you have to read the book it's a book mm. what oh see there get there jan goes yeah what about reviewing refreshers yeah okay how about your workouts we don't really have a system we were doing good over the summer, and then we fell off for months, and now we're getting back into it. Now we're um, back into it, and just in time, right when we got the casting. Yeah, I want to see a wash day routine. Um, mm -hmm. all we do is wash day routines. Basically, our reviews on products is a wash day. That's been, yeah, that's like, that's basically a wash yeah, you won't day. You see us actually in a shower or the head over the sink washing our hair, but we come on camera with our hair wet or in a microfiber towel and we yeah. take it from there. So we do a wash and go. Every video is a tutorial on a wash and go. Yeah. It's just not necessarily water pouring down on our head, but all of our videos are wash and goes. Um, I know the curl mix is coming out with shampoos and conditioners and I'm like, so we have to review those. So yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're, we obviously have to stick that in our head and, um, and there, it, whew, Lord, every Friday. <laughs> yes. Addie, lock that door. Yeah, I, I can't. Um, so curls comes out Friday. Shampoo conditioner comes out Friday. Okay. Curl 78 said, I have trouble refreshing still too. Okay. Even after everybody learned the, the Laurier trick of spraying and letting your hair just sit for two or three minutes and then not touching it and then kind of scrunching it after that. Or is it because your hair is short or <laughs> hey, you, Addie haven't gotten, <laughs> Addie <Ann. laughs> you haven't gotten the technique down yet? Because I am I'm struggling now with my hair being shorter. I had it down to a master when it was longer. And now that oh, it's shorter, right. I have to figure Mom this out again. Mom and daughter pick each other's wash and goes. <laughs> Karen Reeves, I have not found a refresher spray that works for me. Gasp. Who said that? Karen Reeves. No? So did you try the Sotanicals one? That's my favorite one. And then 
I spray that first, and you guys know I love products. So then what I do is I also go in with the Alicat. Original Hershey just said that Alicay Refresher Spray is the one. Yeah. The Alicay okay. one. I love the Alicay yeah. one. The African Pride Moisture Miracle one. The Cream of Nature. The Leave-In and Detangling um, Leave-In Conditioner I is my, like, number one. Love that. What else? Oh, Kid Sister said I just used the Cake Batter with Curl Junkie Pattern Pusher. Okay, thumbs up, yes. Ooh. Karen Reese, does it not work for you? Or are you spraying it and letting it sit not before touching it? Because if you don't let it sit and sink in and kind of grasp the hair, you're just going to frizz it. You got to spray it and kind of like walk away for two or three minutes. Oh, cool. Uh, Colorado Running bought some Nature's Little Secret products. Nice. Mm. I want to get some more Nature's Little Secret products. I want to try the Irish Moss Styling Cream. Again, CCJ is putting me on. Hashtag CCJ made me do it. Um, the <laughs> she posted some on um, the Irish Moss styling cream in the line because there's still oh, some yeah? some products we haven't tried yet from Nature's Little Secret, and that looked cool. I guess I haven't gotten the technique down yet. Okay. Yeah, I love that alcohol one. That's what's in my hair tonight, actually. Yeah, we have alloc in our hair. Mm -hmm. Refreshing doesn't work for everyone. Restyling after four days, I like. And I guess it depends on what your version of refreshing is. My version, when my hair was this short and now it's this short again, it might have to go back to that. It's actually soaking my hair all over again. Maybe not necessarily shampooing it or co-washing it, but just reapplying the product mm -hmm. in the order that I applied it the day before. To me, that used to be refreshing. And, and I dared somebody tell me that it wasn't, you know. Um, I don't think you necessarily have to spray your hair like the spritzer bottle and call that refreshing. I think whatever works for you to bring it back. I think anything shy of washing or co-washing is refreshing to me. Mm -hmm. Hi, FH Nurse Mom. Hey. Yeah, no, refreshing is in the head, head of the, the refresher. refresher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the way I refresh definitely um, differs. Some days I don't have to do anything at all, mm -hmm. but just go. I mean, it depends on the wash and go, how you have to refresh. Lizzie, do you suggest using cream with custards? Do you apply it one after another? If you did, I would apply one after the other. Yeah, the cream and then the custard. Because I'm thinking like the Myel wash and go, like the custard, like some people would like the leave-in down with the twisting souffle and they put the custard on top, so yeah. See, Tamika Brown said, I spray my hair and then shake my hair. It comes out great. I don't touch it. Yeah, that's the key. You just, you just can't touch it. So I've been using the Cream of Nature Milk Refresher Spray, but it takes... A, it takes a lot of it for it to work. I can see how you go through bottles and bottles. Yeah. So like, good thing it's so cheap because like me, I'm like, yeah, that's why you call it the. T -t 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 yeah. Because I just like, off. I'm just, I just go off with that. Yeah. But it's like three bucks, so I like load up on them. I want to try the pink alloc one. Sophia Ortiz said, "Yep." I want to try the um the alloc hair perfumes. I'm like, I want some hair perfume because like <laughs> their products smell so good. I would love to walk around with some hair perfume smelling like alloc naturals. I could do that. Yeah. I love their pink refresher, and that definitely rivals my Sotanicals. Sotanicals always I grab first, and it goes down first. And then tonight I did the pink Alake one because I just, I don't know, I always do two refreshers for some reason. Yeah, J Bubbles hair perfume. It, um, it's like perfume for your hair. It makes it smell good. Jasmine Walker said, I recently purchased the Jane Carter quench refresher, and my hair hated it. But we had that from last year. Um, I don't remember anything standing out. It's still upstairs in our rooms. So um, do we have the crunch refresher? We we do. I saw it in my room the other day. We do. I know now, it was in the box. I was tossing stuff out. Okay. Um, I don't know. We didn't have the technique down pat last year, so I'm not sure if it would work this year. Now that I know my technique, I wonder if any refresher would work. Now that I know my technique. I like refreshers that smell nice. Did that smell nice? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. 
All I know is you, if you haven't tried the Alakay one, you should totally try it. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. It smells like... And don't be turned off from it because it's so thick. It almost looked like a puree, and I thought it wouldn't come out, but it definitely comes out. It, like, bubbles it, up in your hand. It definitely bubbles up in your hand, and you can do this and run through your hair, or you can actually mist it on it. Yeah. It doesn't look like it mists because it's so thick. It comes out almost like a puree, but somehow it, it sinks in and you might let it sit, like I always say, and then kind of scrunch it up. But I love that Alakay one, too quite thick but um it works they're refreshers since i've used the brulee and the leave-in have you tried the refresher 106 andy okay i like the yolanda mondi said i like the main choice tropical moringa daily refresher acts like natural sebum yeah we oh, have the we have the tropical moringa one Michelle Mydell said, my not father's sweatshirt shipped today. I can't wait to get it. <laughs> oh. Okay. New merch coming in February. Uh -huh. I said new merch coming in February. I know. you got to start getting up there and start designing. Yes, yeah, Orion, that's how I have to refresh. Spray and not touch. <laughs> One day we'll have a sickening live space. I wet it all. Okay, yeah. Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. And that's how I did it for years when my hair was short because I never knew. You brought me on the channel to, to cater to the TWAs so I would learn how to refresh, but I never could. Mm -hmm. My idea of refreshing was soaking my hair wet and reapplying the product. Um, anything, like I said, shy of shampooing or co-washing. I think so. I was often asked that question when my hair was longer. And for all those that don't know, I just cut my hair maybe about a month ago this short. It was, how long was it? Do we have a picture of, of its recent state? But anyway, I was asked at the time when I was giving the technique and how did, it, how did I get so good at refreshing? And they said, did it have anything to do with the length? And I said, no, I don't think so. But yeah, I think actually it did. I think it was just easier because it was longer. And I didn't, probably didn't realize it because my hair started off on the channel like this. And then it grew and grew and grew and grew. And I started learning how to refresh maybe, what, mid-summer-ish? Mm -hmm. Okay, and my hair was really big at that point. And it, was, it had length and it was very dense. And so what was not to refresh was very easy. Now that it's like this, I've got to be so careful, mm -hmm. you know, because it just, it's super short. Now I refresh today, it, it shrinks up. I mean, you know, I don't really know. I, I haven't mastered it yet, but I'll get there. I saw someone ask, what are some good Eden Body Works products besides the the curling cream? I like the, um. we have some more Eden Body Works videos on our channel. We have the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow line, which is great. It's like a set of three. There's, um, there's a mask in the line. There is a leave-in and there is a serum, but it's more like a gel. And so that that's a great line. And then we also have the, the hibiscus the hibiscus is it hibiscus honey hibiscus honey hibiscus honey line so if you type in like macro eden body mm -hmm. works like those videos should come up but both those yeah. lines we tried and both those lines we liked and if people want to know i like that little spray in that hibiscus honey line there's some sprays of a vitamin spray yeah and they say it like beautifies your hair or something and it really does I'm make eating a difference peaches. <laughs> I, I love it when I spray my hair with that stuff. Something about it just makes your hair pop for some reason. It's, I just love that stuff. Oh, was this a soup spoon, Leslie the Yeah. What is? Um, okay. Someone mm -hmm. said we use a lot of protein treatments. Does it make our hair? Where was that at? Oh, it's um, Shante. Is it Flowy? You guys use a lot of protein treatments. Does your hair ever feel drier? Um, my hair loves protein. Maybe now in the winter, maybe perhaps, but. I didn't really attribute it to that. You simply can't use protein a lot. Yeah. Let's do the brown. Who hates spoons? <laughs> you love spoons. I love spoons. You love things that are meant to be eaten with a fork. You will eat with a spoon. No class. I eat everything with a spoon. Everything with a spoon. Everything. You, she will eat a piece of, she'll eat a chicken tender with a spoon. <laughs> you love spoons. I do. Grace Collar. Um, what did you, I'm sorry. <clears throat> what did you try from Curl Smith? <laughs> so funny. She's like, I hate spoons. Like, who hates spoons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
The hair perfume stays on for days, okay? My allocate is so good. I save it for special occasions. I hear you with that. Yeah, I can go through some allocate, it seems like. We can we've both been using mm -hmm. it the last two days. I'm like, we gotta get some more lemongrass leave in because yeah. um we went through I think it's we're going two through it. trim brulees and then I saw we cracked open that big one today. Mm hmm Yeah. And then I, I get the big I like the the fact that they give you options. So I got the big shampoo, but I'm even working my way through that now. So and yeah, and we this blended therapy. We both used it. Here we are right here. Okay, it was filled to the top. So what was in your hair for your audition? So we did we both did the lemongrass leave-in and mm -hmm. the creme, creme brulee, brulee curling glite. Mm -hmm. And it looked different today than it looked the other day. Because today yeah. was after the hot oil treatment, so I felt like it was like a little bit shorter. My curls were tighter. It looked better this morning. Again, we Absolutely. were we were both out in the New York element, so our yeah. hair is once again dry again. But it looked better than it did the other day. The other day it was really like hay like. It was very dry. Yes. Um, but I liked it the other day. It looked nice, but it was just it was um it wasn't the products that were dry, it was just like my overall like head was just like blowy and just and just dry it's winter time winter weather yeah yeah and we're, and we're realizing the reality of that now so this was we both did it today after we did hot oil treatments and i could definitely see the difference my hair definitely felt mm -hmm. i'm trying to see if we had if we took a picture more moisturized time. um but yeah we, we were saying that we love that allocate wash and go absolutely um it was basically our number one for 2018 and we found it in december yeah but we were saying we need to start using more creams because it's getting serious out here. Yeah. Did the hot oil help? Yeah, it did. Yes, it definitely did. Yes, it did. did. But again, we were out, head exposed all mm -hmm. day long in New York, you know, 20 degree weather. And um, yeah. our hair is just dry again. But no, it looked fantastic today. Um, do I have a picture of it? Not really. Can you take one? You always take pictures. Did you take any on the train or anything? They would be on my phone. Okay, I don't see. Anything. But we didn't. I mean, your hair basically looks like this, except it was definitely frizzier. So it's more. It's more together. I mean, it's frizzier but, now. No, it was. Um, it was definitely frizzier the other day. I mean, it's oh, the other day. It's frizzier this morning. It oh, like after the hot oil treatment. Oh, did, we didn't take pictures today. No. Okay, we didn't. Okay. Yeah, after the hot oil treatment, my hair just looked so healthy and so Mine too. plumped and yeah. so. I mean, I like this look. I mean, I know that you kind of don't. You just like it's just wild and a mess but i like the fullness of it i i to me it's my highlights pop i'm not bothered by it, it does girl i like it if you like it i love it thank you <laughs> i love it i agree i can get a whole week of wash and goes using my hooded dryer oh girl you are way up there i know i'm just like scrolling um there. this is a mop top we were showing some mop top products that we wow, got. We were sent yeah. from D Curly. Yes. These products, Mocha, did we talk about the scent? And are you talking about my ice? This curling here. custard. Crystal Garcia. It smells like water. everything. It smells so good. <laughs> Diva oh. Curl is so overrated to me. I can't with them. I know. But Diva Curl is just always going to be one of those lines, people's go-to lines, because it's reliable. I think it's a good starting point if you are newly natural. It's just so simplistic, it's simple. you know. Just like you, once you know your curl type, they just have like the little boxes, and it's just so easy. They have the shampoo and the one condition, and it's just a really clearly understood line. Mm -hmm. And did anybody see our busted unboxing on <laughs> on uh, Instagram? Like our unboxing was like a whole YouTube video <laughs> long. Like. <laughs> And like when we were looking at other people's unboxing, and they were literally just unboxing the products, like yeah, pan and scanning the no products. No faces, just panning and scanning. I'm like, oh, and then we're having whole conversations. We were. Yes. And then you were like, you can touch the products. I'm like, no touching. We're not cracking like, seals. Going, right. <laughs> we're going to Target now. We can smell them and touch them. And like, I'm like, well, don't, just don't, just don't open them. <laughs> Look out for management. <laughs> Like, I love lavender. I'm like, it, everything is so flattering to me. You're like, Ma, this is not um, an unboxing. You're not supposed to have this much conversation. Right? I'm like, this is not how you unbox. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Urban Decay. Right? Exactly. <laughs> and somebody said that my tan sweater, she could see the vision. She could see where I was going with it. Like, 
So y'all were coming for me last week, but she could see the vision. <laughs> she could see what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, it was funny. Okay, so Karen said, when are we going to do the video? It's coming this Tuesday. Um, we did the treatment. So treatment Tuesday. And then we did the... Yeah, hold on. We actually... Products, right? We have certain days we have to post it on. Actually, hold on one second. I think it's gonna be off. So the twenty, we have to post on the twenty eighth. So the twenty eighth is a Monday. So you guys might get <laughs> the wash day first on Monday, and then the treatment Tuesday on Tuesday. So you're probably gonna see the wash and go first, and then the treatment on Tuesday, because it has to go out on the twenty eighth. <laughs> F H so. mom said it was long. Look, I know. I didn't learn the knack of succinctness for that. I didn't know. It was very macro style. Yeah. Yes, it was. That's why I said you have to know your brands, and brands have to know their influencers. Because people know macro Bragging, yes. Unbragging. Unbragging. Well, tell the, the people what unbragging is if they're new here. And unbragging is, and some people didn't like my, my um, definition of it. I know, it. some people got in their feels. Some people got in their, their feels, and I don't know why, because I just, it's if you're new to the funny. channel, I just, like, speak my mind. It, it mean no harm. I really don't. It's just... It's just, I don't know, maybe it's just age. I think I was telling them today, it was just age. I think when you get to be 50, it's just like you're not bothered by much. Um, certain things you have to hold your tongue on to say I'm bragging and just laugh at it. Like, what's so bad about that? So I'm bragging was to me, because I was new to social media, because I'm 50 and um, or 51, and everybody gets technical. Um, <laughs> and I just <laughs> thought, like, it was an odd thing. I had never seen that before because I'm not on social media. I just had my little Facebook page, mind my business. And so when I came over here, I started seeing this idea of getting things, PR as they call it, from companies and showing everybody. So for instance, it'll come in the mail and they'll say, oh my gosh, look what Mop Top sent me. And then they'll have the pen and scan the camera and then they'll see, oh guys, look at this. And we're all like drooling on the other side. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And they'll say, thank you mop top do you guys want to see a video and i was like yeah that's why they sent it they want to see a video on it but we never see the video <laughs> I'm like, we never see the video we see plenty of unpackaging and then i just end up saying i'm bragging because they're just bragging about everything they got and but we never see a video so that was the word and then somebody's like you shouldn't say that stick to your channel stick to like what you guys do don't put down another channel i wasn't putting i wasn't naming anybody in particular i was just saying the whole you were just saying like like, like the business it. and we got on we got on to it because i was on the urban decay pr list i like randomly got on the urban decay pr list yeah. and then they sent like these huge pr packages of makeup to me but i didn't do any unbragging so i got kicked off the pr list and, so, yeah, and that's another word that drove me crazy like they're like they kick you off the list like it's like so harsh like no they don't kick you off they go into the computer and they're like okay this person's not um unpackaging so we'll just take her off the list but they just like oh you got kicked off the list like kicked off it's a little harsh and that's just crazy to me like it's just so offensive like they got kicked off what else is andy we're not talking about anybody in particular i think it's just part of like the influencing job like yeah if you're an influencer you're gonna get sent stuff and you kind of have to like you have to show it. people love saying like you know um let's check the mail together or mail time that kind of thing yeah. you see all like the boxes they get it's that kind of thing that's just like oh my gosh thank you you know whoever sent it and then they, they say like you know do you want to do you want to see a video it's just kind of like what, what everybody does if they're an influencer they've done an unboxing a mail undoing if you're we must really got it from the makeup community because we, we follow a lot of, we used to, well, we used to yeah, watch a lot of makeup gurus, gurus beauty yeah. gurus, and they always got all this PR. And it was like, you know, do you want to see this foundation? Do you want to see this eyeshadow palette? I mean, they palette? get like, the whole array of foundations. Like, say, um, Fenty Beauty just came out with, um, what, new concealers. They would get every single color, regardless of whether they're white or black. They would get the whole spectrum huge boxes so much better than like what we could go into the store and buy in the store you get like a nice box whatever but they get the whole PR yeah. every single color the whole spectrum um foundations powders I mean blushes everything lipsticks I mean you could barely buy one lipstick and they'll get like the whole thing of maybe yeah. tart lipsticks and I think it so. came in on a curl mix video because we did like a mini unbragging in the be beginning of the video showing like what we were sent mm -hmm. and like we, we made the joke and the person was like basically like we need to mind our business like making fun of people <laughs> <laughs> who do that i'm like we're making fun of unboxings unbragging they said while we're doing an unbragging so we're basically yeah. like making fun of ourselves along with the whole thing because we're doing an unbragging in the video so 
I mean, you ha it's part of the job. You have to un do unbragging. Yeah, but. see, Michelle Almonte said, this is so true. I never see a video, but a thousand products that was sent to them. It's true. So so my idea, like, I was new to this whole social media thing, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at all those products. I'm like, well, the, the, the next time I go into their videos, do they ever show a video? You wait, you wait, you wait weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm like, what do they do with this stuff? And you never see it. So then I just started calling. I'm like, here goes another bragging where they brag about all the stuff they got. We never seen the video. And I just thought it was funny. And um, my humor is just very like that. So, <laughs> I didn't mean to offend. Do I offend? Because <laughs> as we're making fun of them, we're making fun of ourselves right? as well. Because, I mean, Cause I'm, we're doing I'm bragging. Yeah. I bet you we learned how to do some unbragging when Urban Decay kicked you off the list. Right, yeah. So I didn't do enough unbragging, so I got kicked off the list. You did. So the next time I said, the next time they send you something, you better start painting up like a cupid doll <laughs> I said, so we can stay on that list. And um, did you? I think I got one more thing from them and it popped up, but then I haven't been sent anything lately. Because you haven't been making up like a cupid doll. Well, I haven't been making up like a cupid doll. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag not bothered. Exactly. Not bothered. Can't be bothered, guys. <laughs> Can't be bothered with these things. Who kicked you off? Urban Decay. <laughs> I got kicked off the Urban Decay PR list. <laughs> okay. We're thinking of ideas. Give us another positive series. We have Hi, to, Jermaine Ortiz. You know, we're thinking. Hi, oh, Jermaine Ortiz. We're th I got to tell her something about that baby doll. You know I'm so obsessed about that Christmas baby doll. Uh, but before I do that, what was I getting ready to say? She's on a date with her husband. Oh, is she? Okay. Right, she quick. might not be around for long. Okay. All right. The, all right. You know, guys, I was like flipping out because she gave her grandmother a baby doll, like a little doll in a box for Christmas, and they put it in her grandma's lap, and she opened she, the, the look on her grandmother's face was just so precious, and I just have not gotten past that Christmas present for her grandmother. But then recently I heard, I think on the news, that they're bringing baby dolls to nursing homes for older people people in the nursing home and the, and the, the excitement and um, it gives them like a new lease on life when they put a baby doll in a woman's lap at the nursing home and I just thought I said Jermaine Ortiz did it first I just thought that was so cute <laughs> and um I always talk about that that Christmas I saw that video and the baby doll and I just thought that that was brilliant <laughs> Jermaine Ortiz did it first <laughs> she did <laughs> are they one of the positive series mm -hmm. I know, sweet we, idea. We were, we were saying that the other day. We got to do a podcast. There's so much to do. Our hair is dry. We're figuring it out. <laughs> figuring it all. Everybody remain calm. Right. Lots of macro videos coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Jermaine. I just love what you did for your grandmother. I thought that was so sweet. I tell everybody that story. I know. We were literally driving the car the other day, and you started talking about the baby. I'm like, Ma, you're still talking about the baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I am. <laughs> Crystal Garcia's getting some business straight here. <laughs> Kid sister, it's in a spring. I'll type it in again. Yeah, that's a great skincare line. I love it. I like it. when you buy skincare things and it works. Oh, and she loves it still, the baby doll. <laughs> they want to see you do my hair, girl. They do? Girl. What do you want me to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Girl. I need my bed and my fuzzy socks. I do, too. I'm guys, I am so tired. Guys, we're tired, guys, tonight, guys. I am. We literally have been up since 4 o'clock. We rushed mm -hmm. to New York, and then we rushed back. We didn't even go shopping just to get back for this live. And I am no spring chicken, and y'all gonna have me aging. Oh, my gosh. No, when we were, um... Oh, let's talk about you and how extra you are <laughs> in I New York. Now? Guys... I can't go anywhere with her, and if I do, there are certain points where I just ignore her because she's just <laughs> she's just so beyond extra. So you're, I would not say at all that you're a germaphobe, but you're obsessed with washing your hands, mm -hmm. and you just you just don't like smells, and just you're just always just making faces. And it's so not exclusive I just to New can't. York because I'm that way in my own state. So don't anyone from New York, um, Leslie LeBron, no, just, anybody get, <laughs> anyone get upset? It's just. New York just has like kind of like that reputation, and you know when you go out of, when you come out of um, Grand Central Station, there's like the, just you start smelling the smells. It's the smells of New York. I mean, you have to kind of like inhale. I think I explained it to somebody that you went out with a couple of months ago, and um, I'm like, new, there's nothing like New York. I mean, you could be in other well, who'd I big. Go out a couple months ago. Remember, what is it too soon to mention them? Oh, that oh, 
I don't know. All right, anyway. When do we spill the tea on that? I don't know. He wanted to be so bougie. He, he couldn't even appreciate New York, okay? That's but, some I mean, tea, if you guys. travel, but you've That's never been to tea. New York, if you've never been to New York, I mean, you, like, then what kind of traveling do you do? But Girl, anyway. it, was a, it was November. Where yeah. are we going in February? Yeah. We'll wait a few more. A few more weeks? Yeah. Okay, all, all right, right, guys. But anyway, so I said, like, when you step out, you just know you're in New York City. It's just the sound, the, the hot dog truck, you know, um, just, you know, the homeless people right outside of um, Grand Central Station. Not that it's a sightseeing thing, but I'm just saying the whole experience of New York is just a special experience. It is. But no matter where I go, no, I just don't like public bathrooms, okay? And you can't, <laughs> like, the moment we Ma, get someplace. Wait, wait. All right. Ma, don't, don't even say what you're about to say because okay. it's not true. Well, I mean, you'll go to the bathroom on a plane. You'll go to the bathroom on a train. That's like, not like, true. Like, I'll hold it forever. That's ever. not true. Like, I just Ma, don't, I don't go like to the public bathrooms. I don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't go to the bathroom on trains. <laughs> okay, I just, they're just very like closed in. There's just, the moment you go in, you just get this aroma, okay? There's <laughs> always one. And I just, so like, all right, so we have to go. Are right, you like, you have to go to the bathroom? And like, I begrudgingly said, yeah, I kind of do. And so then you go in there and it's like, almost like I want to take a deep breath of air out before I go in and like hold it, but I know I'll turn blue and pass out. I can't hold it forever. So I eventually at some point I have to like maybe take a deep breath and so I'll go, like, like this, because I don't want to breathe the air in from like the, the bathroom. I'm not a germaphobe, but I just don't like public bathrooms. There's lots of things I don't like. What else was my face all torn up about today? Oh, uh, yeah. You so, me, you... so like, if we if we're going together, so like today, like we went. Like I walked ahead of you. I completely ignored you because I just didn't want to see your face. I don't want to see faces. I don't want to see. <laughs> I don't want to see any of that. So, so we get to Grand Central Station and our train is leaving at. Say for I think it was like two thirty four or something, and it is mm -hmm. two thirty two. And I'm like, Mom, we literally have to run down this ramp yeah, and like, no, I'm not running, and okay. get to Terminal twenty six, which we could see it from the door. I'm like, it's right there, Terminal twenty six. I'm like, we have All like two minutes. Open. I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm like, Pick. so you were like trying to run, like, and you know she's MS, so like you know it was hard. So like you were happening. you were trying to hold on to rails and everything, <laughs> and so by the time I was we crawling to the train, we were crawling to the train, yeah, like but I made it fast crawling, and we literally yeah. made it. The door was like this much crap. Yeah, the guy was ready to go, and yeah. like we made it in. I hate when you say, um, "Mind you, have to hurry up," because that just oh like God, that just go. freezes me in place. Like you cannot tell me to hurry, because that just yeah. makes me nervous. And then I just you I were just literally freeze. like taking like little leaps. Yeah, like, I really trying, was. Like, you were I trying just, to because I was tired and yeah. I had to get on that train. Because other than that, we would have had to wait um, like another like forty minutes for yeah. the next train, and like we were like it was right there. But we ended up we made it on, and then you sat down, and I guess from <laughs> your gloves that you had were red, <laughs> and they were like dirty from touching the rail, so they were like red, beautiful red gloves, and then they had like black certain places so you were just sitting there like, like just your face like, all twisted up because like, like we're in the you know in the train area so probably the smoke and stuff from the train gets on the rails so now my beautiful little red gloves are now all like bl I'm black dust on them now like they're so shiny red and they're then well not shiny but they're just like red just beautiful gloves. red just clean yeah. yeah and now they're just all all right, so that my face was like looking. Kind yeah, of so weird. like we basically was like no seat, so we had to walk a couple cars, and then finally, like we sat down, and you just had your purse, and just just don't put your purse on your lap, like you just like <gasps> your your it? face was just all twisted up, and like you just like snatched your purse and put it on your lap, and then she took out a plastic baggie that had like tissues and um and and hand sanitizer, and like she took off her gloves, and she's just just making faces, and she's just like now all you need to do is just pump pump. And just kind of clean your hands once you have this to do. Pump, 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 pump. And walk. And then I use almost like a soap. And hand sanitizers I flying like everywhere. I have a like. washcloth to clean off the, like, it's like a soap. Because I want to see all the dirt come off. Like, why well, take the hand sand sanitizer and then just put it all, mix all the germs and the sanitizer. It's all just sitting on your hands. So then I try to use this to take all the germs no, off. No, Evelyn, it's not snobby. Like, you're not snooty. Like, you just don't. Like, I'm not bothered. Like I just do what I do. Yeah, but okay. like it didn't require all of that. Like it just pump, <laughs> it pump, did. clean your hands and just yeah. go on about. You. But you were just like pump, 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 no, pump. No, the thing pump, is, like, I, mean, I don't really care really how it comes off. If it comes off snooty, snobby, maybe people could take a page because it's winter and I am not trying to get the flu. I already have um, MS, as everybody knows, and. I will never recover. Everybody can get a cold or a flu or recover in a week or two. I will be laid up for the rest of the winter. There will be no more videos, okay? So um, it's very serious. I, can, I can't take a flu shot. You'll be laid of, up. Yeah, because of my illness. So I am very careful. Where I mean, how do you avoid people? How do you avoid New York and germs and all that? You don't. So I just go and just 
make the best of it and hope for the best. But I definitely bring hand sanitizer. I definitely am very cognizant of what I'm touching and where I'm at. And anybody coughs, I that aggravates me. If somebody just coughs out, like we're all out of train, all locked in this, this stuffy area, and people are coughing and sneezing. Now I know it's flu season, but like cover up, like <laughs> like like nobody <laughs> like covering up, like like cover like. <laughs> Like that cover like that or I can like sneeze all right but I chill like you just please I can't <laughs> I will walk out of the line of fire when people do that I just I, I, one minute Tay sees me next minute I am turning and then she laughs because she knows that I heard somebody sneeze or call I'm like I'm not walking into the line of fire no way so um yeah I'm very just coming from the person who sneezed like five times in an hour the other day I like, did you just kept I'm sneezing down and something. I'm like ma like you need to stop I'm like well stop you sneeze, sneeze. like I can I sneeze like a real sneeze, but I have a tissue and I, I'm sneezing like that. I'm not sneezing out like that. It just sounds just loud. Well, it is loud because I sneeze normally, and you and you stunt your sneeze because you don't want you don't like the way a sneeze sounds. <laughs> you, like, what, like what time is it? It's like ten or five. We're talking about sneezes, okay? Can anybody add to the conversation right? about sneezes? How do you sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so public bathrooms. Me and you, we don't go together because I'm not dealing with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not So, like, I was done quicker than you were today. So, like, I, like, walked out. And then I'm, like, I waiting. I practically get buck naked before I go into the store. <laughs> I'm, like, take here, take this. Here, take, take this. You here, take, 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 take this. Take my scarf. Here, take, take my this. jacket. Take this. Take, this. take my take purse. My take my shoes. I take my sweater off. I want to take my button ass shirt. I want to take everything off before I go into the store. Okay? I just don't want anything to touch. I hate public bathrooms, but sometimes you just have to go. But, oh, my gosh. I just don't like public you bathrooms. Do. No, you and literally please, do. The filthiest, dirtiest public bathrooms are like gas station bathrooms. Oh, like, those are. They out. don't even try to be clean. They don't even try. Do they even clean them? The owners do they even ever clean? Like you know when you're traveling through different states and you have to stop off and you have to get the key as if they needed a key as if somebody's going to take something. Okay, that they'd be lucky if they took the toilet. Okay, and so then you have to get the key and then when you open it up, it's just like, oh my gosh, your guess is as good as mine. What you're going to find in a public bathroom when you're traveling like at a mobile gas station or a shell or whatever gas station you stop at oh i almost want to go in the man's bathroom because <laughs> women's bathrooms are like 10 times worse yes i've been in men's bathrooms i try to see what my options are <laughs> Not, I'm just not like if a man's like when he sees me come out, he's waiting there like to go and I'm like, here you go, here's the key, like go on in. <laughs> yes, I want a woman coming out because y'all are cleaner, quite frankly, than than the women's bathroom. So yeah, no men's bathrooms yeah. to me are no, cleaner. You and bathrooms, I don't deal with because I'm not dealing with all this, all this mm -hmm. extra. I can't. I'm not doing it. But mm -hmm. so I, I I left and I came back in there for you and you were like drying your hands under <laughs> the thing and your face was just like all twisted up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'll be out here. Day. It was the long <laughs> day. Like, I'll be right? out here. I can't. <laughs> yeah, this bitch. Oh my god. So can't. I can feel the Harrison. <laughs> Spilling the beans. Yes. <laughs> we don't know yet, Lisa. Murray. Did you like what said? She rolls up her pants legs so they don't touch the floor in public bathroom. <laughs> That's me. I want to like, chop off my feet. Like I just, I wish I could just float. I, there was a picture on Facebook. They're like, who flushes the toilet like this? Me? I laugh. I thought that was just unique to me. No, when you kick up your leg and you make it over <laughs> and you use your foot to flush the toilet, like my hands never touch that flusher. Oh, <laughs> nope. My feet touch the flusher. And if they don't make it, then it just doesn't get flushed. It's just, I just add to the filth. It's just, it doesn't yes! encourage, it yes! doesn't encourage, it doesn't encourage it, cleanliness. It really doesn't. It's just, everything is just so filthy dirty. Now, if you go into a, if you go into Nordstrom's, what I like about Nordstrom's oh, is yeah. they have the person sitting there, like she's standing there and handing you like the towel or she's like cleaning <laughs> the sink. Like there's no water all over the sink like that. Mm -hmm. They're like always, it's just clean. There's like, Nordstrom's I, is like bougie though. Yeah, and then I like when you go to other places, like they have a basket of the, like the soaps and the towels and all that. But but public bathrooms, like, mm -hmm. no, they're they're not even trying to be clean. She's a karate kid. Okay, <laughs> I never okay. thought my leg could get that high. Okay, yeah. but no, it can. I bet you it works when it needs to work. So um, mm -mm. I can't. Oh my gosh, just too much. <laughs> but yeah. So. And then the rudeness today on the train. So, it was it was going there, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't coming back. It was going, right? Um, the mom and her. It was like so. The train was it like was coming. No, it was going. Oh, it was going. Yeah. Right. The, yeah, the train was like really, really packed, and so we were sitting in like 
the handicap seats um sometimes we're lucky enough to get the ones that like fold down if people don't have their bikes and stuff there or there's not like a wheelchair there or like whatever so we we pulled those seats down and then like a couple stations like down when they picked up somebody else like this mom and her child got on the little boy was so cute yeah, was really cute so cute and she was like english accent so yeah cute. english accent so cute he had like little curly hair he was had a little yellow jacket he was adorable um <laughs> but they got on and so like, we were basically like you know we just like watched the people that come on the train and so she was like struggling with her carriage struggling with him and so we like moved our purses off our seats because like the, the bench is pretty long so like we were sitting in and then we had our purses here but like I figured, like, you know, she had a carriage. She might want to scoot in and then, like, scoot her baby in. So, like, you were all set to have the baby sit with us. Like, you were ready. Like, I saw you look at him, like, basically, come here. Like, you were so ready. I know. You were so ready. So, we were moving our stuff. And I think, and, like, she saw it, too. And so, she started to, like, you know, move over to us and, like, break her carriage down in front of where we were sitting. And um, she was definitely getting ready to sit down where we were. And this, like, man comes and just takes the seat. And, like, everybody basically around us was, like, looking at him. Like, you don't see this woman and her baby struggling, getting ready to sit down, and mm -hmm. you're going to take this seat? Like, really? No. It was so right uncomfortable and just, like, rude and weird. Because, like, we all, like, looked stunned for a second. And she kind of looked, like, taken aback, like, like, wow. Like, she was really standing in front of the seat to take this seat. And he just, like, slid past her and sat down next to me. And no, it was I'm just not gross. not telling lies. Jay Nicole, I'm telling the, um, the, the truth about of the matter here and we're telling lies and then airy you put the paper down no because if the toilet seat's not clean then the paper's absorbing whatever's on the toilet seat what's the use of the paper or right. like it's just public bathrooms shall we end the conversation or just gross and it's only i guess an absolute necessity whereas you make it like part of the trip like you enjoy going to the bathroom now when we get to the trip i'm gonna go to the bathroom <laughs> that's <laughs> not true like, why do you paint me in such a light that's the, not yeah, true like field trip, like, no it's not like, every time that's I go, not I go true you, you at have got all. to christen that's, every bathroom <laughs> that's not <laughs> Mom, every place we go. That's not true. You have to christen that's, every that's bathroom. That's not true. And I Mom. will hold from here until eternity. That's not true. Um, and if I'm 50 and I can hold my weak bladder, then I think you should learn how to hold, okay? Because I'm tired of visiting bathrooms. <laughs> I really am. I'm just, <laughs> just too through with bathrooms, public bathrooms. Okay? That's so not true. That's so not true. <laughs> no one assignments to grind bowl over. <laughs> well, my daughter does the same thing. It's not true. <laughs> my hubby hates public bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like the rudest thing I'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he looked like this, like, ornery kind of, like, grumpy man. So, like, nobody checked him. But, like, it was just so rude. It was just so rude and it was it was just weird <laughs> oh man wow like the viral video of the pregnant lady none of the men got up just a teenage boy who offered her his seat wow i watched a viral video of a little boy with um out freezing cold like the elements like now elements like they are in new york freezing cold without a jacket on it was like a test and they put him there and the poor little boy was like shriveled up like this people were walking by with mink coats big bomber jacket walking by and the little boy was just sitting there freezing now that mind you the cameras and stuff were there so he was safe but they were just trying to see who would stop not one person stopped not one for like an hour okay so then they moved him to another location and the second location again little t-shirt on no jacket little boy just sitting here he had to be like maybe about eight or nine just shriveled up people walking by people would actually look at him and keep on walking, talking in their own like world, just walking by only one person the second time around, stopped to ask him, was he okay? And he said, no, he said, my mom left me here. <laughs> and then somebody said, what? And he said, yeah, and they said, where did she go? And he said, I don't know. And they said, well, so the, right away, she took her coat off, her jacket off, and gave it to him and covered him up. And then that's like where the video ended. But they said, it took like two tries. One person stopped, and I'm talking about hundreds of people walk by, hundreds of people walk by. 
do people just not care or do they not see? Well, think about the or, time I jumped out on the highway and I was running for my life from you and all them cars just drove by. That I could have been escaping from a kidnapper. That could have been my grand escape and cars yeah. were just walk driving by like it is normal to see a girl running down the highway. Like nobody stopped. Are, like, like are you are they afraid? I don't know if I would approach, you know, because you just never know. Right. Um the world has you so skeptical. It's just, it's, the, it's an honest Aerie, thing. really? What did Aerie say? Tay will go on a train. Tay will go on a plane. Tay <laughs> will go on a jet. Tay will go on a pet. <laughs> okay, Aerie. All right. It's totally not true. Well, the mom and me would have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a quarter and a foot flush, right? Leslie, that's the vibe I got from him. That was totally the vibe I got yes. from him. Yes, Monica Boston said, I'm a squatter and a foot flusher, and I use paper towels to turn off the faucet. Me too. And open the door, and if they have no paper towels, I'm getting toilet paper. That's me. And then I open up the door with it, and then I kind of like balls up so it'll have like some like, it'll, it'll, it'll go far because it's like a ball. You become and a, I try to, a basketball player. I do, and I try to make it into the garbage, and hopefully it makes it, because once I open up that door, I have to perp and squeeze through, and that paper towel's got to go into the trash can because nothing else is going to be touched once I have that paper. And I'm using the paper towel for everything. So I open it up and then try to make that basket, and then out I go so nothing gets touched. Incredible me said, in New York where you mind your business. Yeah. yeah. That's really the vibe there. Guys, I'm tired. It's really bedtime. How, oh, um... Yeah, I think it's bad. I'm exhausted. Okay, so hold on. Um, D is it D E says I love you guys. Where do you guys get your allocate products? They are sold in very limited supply, like in Target, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to just like make it easy for yourself and just get everything, because they have everything on their on their allocate site. That's where um I've been getting mine. And how how does everybody else get theirs? We have a code for allocate too. Fifteen percent off. Mad curls fifteen. So we, yeah. I think in Target they have the they have the shade. refresher. No, I'm sorry, they really don't. The lemon grass leave-in. I think they have the honey sage conditioner, the oil, the seven essentials oil, the seventeen essential oil, the yeah. co-wash sometimes, sometimes. So, um, but you know, you, it's just an experience. You have to go on the the website and see all the stuff they have because they have everything there. So. Was he wearing a MAGA hat? <laughs> I said, yeah, that was the vibe I got. It was just... What do you guys think about that whole thing of shutting down the government? Let's not get too political because I just don't do that. They say you shouldn't talk politics, religion, money, blah, blah, blah. But I heard the other day that kids at school aren't able to have their lunch if they're on lunch programs now. So like, it's gone that far that if your child is doing having a lunch program at school that now they can't get their lunch. You know, um, um, Evelyn Bradwell, our sweatshirts do run big. Um, yeah, we made sure we yeah. got, um, we picked the designs that had like a lot of sizes. So they do run big. Yeah, they go up to what we did 4X we wanted to do. We were, that was requested when we were talking about making them. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, do they run big or how did like, you know, how what sizes do we have? Like, this is a small and this fits me like this fits me perfectly. This is a small. But they, they do run, like, larger sizes. I showed the mistakes, though, that I made. I got extra large, so I get extra large in everything. And um, it, I was swimming in it. Now, to show you the difference, this is an extra large by another company. Um, I like Christian t-shirts. And look at how how tight this is. This is nobody's extra large, okay? Mm -hmm. The extra large that um, we had, I think mine says not bothered. I am swimming, swimming in that. So... All extra larges aren't the same. This is nobody's extra large. Yes, yeah, sometimes like food stamps and wick are getting cut. Yeah, I feel so bad. Like for people who like like their housing and stuff, and people can't pay their bills, so mm -hmm. like they're losing their houses, and it's just yeah, it's terrible. Not able to yeah, that's I think it's going a little too far. When I heard about the school lunches, because kids, you know, they work so hard, they look forward to their lunch, and then what if they really don't have that? You know, we have a relative that has to give their child lunch money and. They simply just don't have that extra to do. And so what do you do at that point? What do you do at that point?
they just opened it up for three weeks with the, the mask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like we're living in like a third world country or something. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, Casey um Baker, that's where the I get it you have curly hair came from. The video with Wi Fi Adam. We were at the end, we were doing our typical poses and he's like, All right, we get it. With curly hair. Oh yeah. Curls in the making, good night curls in the making. Yeah, they will get back pay though. Um, Nelly, they will. That's what Spencer told us um but back pay may not bring back the stuff that they lost in the meantime because sometimes back pay is, is okay but you like they need money now i need now pay yeah that's what i said to spend i'm like it's nice that you're getting it back i was like but what about people who need to pay their rent like this month yeah all right but anywho is like it we time? said, we don't get deep into it. We just I was just curious because when I heard that a relative wasn't going to get lunch at school, that bothered me. So we have different differences of opinion, even within our own house. So I really don't touch on that at all. Um, to keep life peaceful and stay unbothered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It's the good night roll call. It's the good night roll call. Because my eyes are on their way down. Mm -hmm. Mine are too. Okay. Who's going to kick it off? Oh, Brenda Tompkins. She said good night. Good night. Good night. If we say good night, then click out. How this good goes. Room. You say good night, we say good night, and you click out. Mm -hmm. Good night, Kathleen Harris. <laughs> good night, Jay Nicole. Oh, oh, there they all come. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> Um, is it? Peace and love is my motto. That's Aaron a wonderful Lewis, model, yeah. Monica Boston, Felicia. Oh nope. Okay. Um, Elias Shabazz, Jasmine Walker, Evelyn Bradwell. Um, incredible me, Yolanda. Oh, oh okay. Yolanda Patrice. Where, where, where are you at? Nope. Um, good night. Oh, I should say good night. Um, Curl seventy eight, JSN, Jason. JCN? Jason? Jason? Oh my gosh. No, she said that was JCN. JCN. Okay, I'm sorry. It might take okay. a while. Okay. <laughs> you were there? Yeah, okay. um, good night. My Ru. Oh, my. Is it My Lou Beauty? Good night. Um, CK King. Good night. Um, Ter Terry Lane Davis. Good night. Okay, but what time are you at? 1021. Let me see. Okay. Chelsea Knowles. Okay, there we go. Yolanda Mondi. Diamond Hill. Good night. The Soleil 19. I'll see y'all. Gotta go. Good night. Casey Baker. Good night. Sean Michelle. Good night, ladies. Alicia Price. Good night. Flower Tress 06. Good night. TJ Lightfoot. Good night. Oh, I didn't know TJ Lightfoot was in the room. All, right. All Things Gabrielle. Good night. D E. Is it Edis? Edis? Edis. Good night, beautiful ladies. Yeah. Uh, FH Nurse Mom at J. Nicole. Good night. Okay. Yolanda Patrice. Good night, ladies. Erica Washington. Night, ladies. Let's see. Vonda Grant. Night, night. M. Terry. Thank you guys for going live. Good night. Emily Silver. Good night. The um, Mononeo 21, is it? Good night, ladies. Christine Waters. Good night. Sarah Fatin, good night, y'all. Tierra Price, good night. Tina McClary, good night. Like a like a like a wash a window wiper. <laughs> I'm trying to break out of sweat. It's work. Okay, do, 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 Tina McClary, good night. Millie Nunez, good night, ladies. Colorado Running, good night, ladies. Night. Erica Fleming, good night, ladies. Hey, Erica. Okay, Leslie LeBron, I'll say good night, but I have. FOMO, so I'll wait until you click off. <laughs> what is it? Was it fear of missing out? Fear of right? missing out, okay. yeah. <laughs> Nothing's going on here, but I'm going to go to sleep. Please, I see you on Facebook. <laughs> see you on Facebook. <laughs> okay, um, Aileen, is it Mayunir? Good night. Did I pronounce that right? Phonetically spell it so we don't mess it up. Girl. 
Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Tierra Price night. FH Nurse Mom. Oh, because she's still having conversation. Okay. Um, oh, no, she said, she said good night at the end. Oh, she did? She okay. said stay bothered. Love y'all. Good night. Okay. Good night, right. good night, good night. All right, girl, we gotta get these good nights. Okay, let's go. Curly, good night. Yvonne Copeland, good night. Let's see. Um, uh, Jay Bubbles, is it? All right. Wild, Casilda Harrison, good night. Ari Brown, good night. Terry Robinson, good night. Nellie White, good night, y'all. Have a great weekend. And the cat, there's a good night face. Cheryl Reed, good night. Incredible Me, good night. Ladies, mommy, free weekend, so I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy that, yes. Denisha Bessard, Taylor looks like she was sleeping for a minute. She probably was. Latrice <laughs> Hubbard, good night all. Have a blessed weekend. Alexis Johnson, good night. Caroline Rose, good night. Doris Smith, good night. Tierra Price, good night. <laughs> Why do I think some of these are going back around again? Oh, there's a Tia. Um, Hawthorn. Home now, just in time to say good night. Sweet dreams, y'all. <laughs> the J Way, everybody going to bed. LOL. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Haley Means, plant based foodie. Let's see. I know. It sucks. I know. We're going to go, Atia. We're tired. Jen loves nail polish. Good night, y'all. Oh, it's Melissa. Okay, see you on Facebook, Nelly. <laughs> Girl. Okay. Got to girl 24. All right. We're going, guys. Do we miss anybody? Yes, a whole bunch of people. Okay. All right, girl. Uh, you, you're not reading fast enough. Okay. You read okay. Um, Tamika Brown, Sheila oh. Wright, Jay Bubbles, um, Wendy Warren, Taz. Taz. Great Taz. Taz. <laughs> Kiki Victoria, Ashley Harriet said she just got here. Girl, we are going to bed. <laughs> um, Brown Eyed Curly. Brown Eyed Curly. Latrice Hubbard. Hubbard. My name is skipped over. Latrice Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Latrice Hubbard. Good night. You're our okay. very last one. All right. And 119 people that are still here. 118. They're the ones in the shadows. Good night. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, That's guys. It. Farewell. Fare thee well. We'll keep you in touch with what's going on. Yeah. Follow Lori on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> for updates <laughs> i know <laughs> all right all right guys we will see you guys soon mm -hmm. in our next video all right all right love you guys Bye. good night girl you gonna press the button or am i okay let me see if i can do it